So, um, so Exiled Postman came up with the OK Computer uh, pun, and then I said, I, 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 I one of one of these, because everybody was coming up with puns. One of these is going to be the one, and then he said, it's it's OK Computer, isn't it? And 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 it was, it was, it was indeed that. So, I I just thought I'd I'd admit my shame uh, right up front there. That's that's. He he got me. He got me. and gentlemen never mind the other song that started playing there hello everybody welcome it's user time baby it's user time um uh I, we did a stream a couple days ago and we did it it was in the evening and it was a pretty fun evening stream and we looked at some crazy people 
And if you were there for that stream, you got to see the birth of the new Nostalgia Critic. For all that you might have heard of people, you know, over the years who really want to be Nostalgia Critic, who really want to be, you know, uh, who really want to be cool, epic, that guy with the glasses, reviewers. We found a guy who actually got Nostalgia Critic in his video and made a a, a follow up to the to the horrible storyline of the nostalgia critic movies uh uh in the form of a positive review for the ready player 1 movie in uh three parts over the course of about 4 hours or so 5 hours however long it is um and that was an individual by the name of big jacks films um that was exactly what his name is, Big Jack's Films. It's it's crazy. It's crazy that his name is just Big Jack's Films. It's it's so wild. Um, and so if you saw that the other day, it was quite something. We watched the whole first part of the thing, which was only like, I don't know, maybe like a a fucking, I I I don't know. We we were like a quarter of the way through, maybe. There's three parts. We were I don't know. I don't remember the math on it, but we were not actually that far the way into the the whole storyline we might watch some more of that but there's other crazy people to look at potentially and uh there's 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 other stuff on that guy's channel that i'd like to look at including asmr videos with android 18 uh which which we didn't get around to the other day uh let's see so there's a new crazy guy by the way i don't know if we're going to be looking at it today but there's a, a fellow who, I guess, fucking killed his parents or something. He killed his father. And uh, he had a bunch of crazy books. He had a Spotify song. He had a whole bunch of cool stuff. Really cool stuff. Epic stuff. And, uh, and, and apparently people on 4chan were talking about him, like, last year before he killed anyone, I think. I'm not sure exactly. But, uh, he was, he's, he's been, like, kind of known. He has a bunch of books. Apparently he talks about the, the, con the conspiracy, you know, pick, pick whichever one you like. I think he talks, he probably talks about it. I, I'm not sure exactly. We're going to get to that. That's not today, but there's info there. Apparently he had a video that was him, like, he sawed off his dad's fucking head and then makes a video like threatening the establishment and the feds or something. And then he um he uploaded the whole thing to uh YouTube. So for like 5 hours there was a video where it was like a decapitated head at the beginning and then him and his list of demands or whatever. Here's my list of demands. Um and uh he he uh yeah he seems to be crazy i think they arrested him we're going to be looking into that at, at, in due time but you know please be on the line for f future crazy people more info is being gathered thank you to the info gatherers the based info gatherers um let's see we had an intro song it was a little bit of industrial music from the 90s because i found a playlist for industrial rock from the 90s because i'm playing cyberpunk now and I made a character who you guys are gonna really enjoy this character. I I I I I I I decided to go with a media character who is his name is Pedro Hunter, um, aka uh, Papa Pedro, and he is uh, he's gonna hunt down the Leviathan pedophiles in the media and the corporate positions. And, uh, apparently our party is going to be infiltrating the media to try and stop those, those pesky pedophiles. And most of them are probably not going to be pedophiles, but don't worry about that. It's going to be great. It's going to be great. He's got a katana. He called the, the katana the Leviathan. It's going to be great. I unplugged my headphones. It's so great. I unplugged my headphones. Um... Also, tomorrow we're going to be streaming uh, some bullshit followed by, like, Halo and stuff. Festive video game night, but, you know, that's tomorrow. For tonight, we're going to get started here, and I do want to... Uh, this user! I do want to uh, get in on the... Um... Oh, speaking of this user, I actually have something special for tonight. I have something special I wanted to share with you all. This is just... There's a couple of... 
fun little new uh, creations by some of the server people. Uh, some things that you, you guys might enjoy. Let me just get the folders taken a little bit to load here. That's annoying. Hang on. Um, yeah, we, we got a... Oh, yeah, here's Mama, here's Papa Pedro. Sorry, not Mama anything. Papa Pedro. Obviously made with AI. I like the real YouTube logo back there. Cache documentaries! And he's even got, like, vampire bats back there who, uh, because, you know, he's going to catch the vampire sex cult. So it's... <laughs> It's really great. I mean, it's it's a good it's a good thing that I uh, have decided to do this with my time. <laughs> but uh, no, it was this one. I think Exiled Postman made this, um, and uh, as a little preview, hang on, let me see here. As a little preview, uh, as a rant with my homeboy Shadow the Hedgehog, I look at my life and realize I'm in a fog. Yeah, we got lyrics happening. Um, uh, they all like to bitch and fight, living in a user's paradise. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. I'm gonna make the whole thing happen. But uh, it's it's uh, it's all it's all it's all gonna happen. And uh, then there was another one here, which was. Um, cringe rules everything around me uh and it uses the little dancing jason gomez here which is very nice very nice and then i think i also had saved these here hold on hold on um we also had these ones here this is just for all purpose use here where is it where is it uh it's in my oh it's in reactions right this is just for all purpose use here um sort by date um, yeah, you know, just for, for whatever reason. Now, I was, mm, no, see, I, I wanted to do something with this, but maybe not. Maybe it's not a good idea to do something with that. I was going to share this with people, but I don't think that's necessary. There's another one. There's supposed to be a, there's somebody made a gif. I thought I saved it. Somebody made a dancing gif, like a two frame dancing gif of the little Jason Gomez dance. So that's good. That's everything that I dreamed of. Um, uh, but yeah, that's uh, also note the little the the dead Tomatoa gaming da corpse in the background there, <laughs> and the Glicky. Uh, he's he's he. Oh, and I I didn't even I didn't even notice the 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 bling. He has bling. That's great. He's got bling. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, but we're gonna get into it here. Get into it here. And uh, we will be doing some bingo. We will be doing bingo. But firstly, uh, oh, good God. This, uh, this user, um, is this somebody that we found a few days ago. If you were wanting other people first and foremost, well, you can go fuck yourself. You're not getting it. You, you are, you came to the stream and we're now back with more Big Jack films. Uh, Big Jack films. Big, Big Jack's films. Um, is, is, is a great channel. And again, we watched part one of this insane Ready Player One review, which was an hour and four minutes. Part two is an hour and three minutes. Part three is two hours and 17 minutes. But I don't want to just do more of that. Uh, what other skit bullshit do we have here? We got Big Jack Films The Movie. The Great War Season 7 Storyline Compilation. Oh, see, I love the fact that there's storyline compilations. Did he really feature the angry video game nerd in this one? Guys, he got both the nostalgia critic and the nerd. What have you done with your pathetic life? Jesus Christ, what have I done? Uh, I, I love that there's compilations of the storyline. Like, he knows people are here for the great clips. Let me just type in storyline. And just, oh yeah, no, we don't even need the actual reviews, baby. We just need the fucking storyline compilation. Hell yeah. Look at all this fucking shit. There's a Star Wars fan film. Oh no. Uh, there's even an anthology of that Terawatt guy who, by the way, is apparently a fucking, uh, a real-life superhero in the Toronto area. 
I, I, I scarcely believe it. Or, well, technically he's a real-life supervillain. Which I feel like that's dangerous territory. Like, Hero, it's like, alright, at least you've got your heart in the right place, but... We're kind of just hope we're we're kind of just here hope all all hoping that that guy doesn't decide to be a real villain and like I don't know actually rob a bank with dynamite or something. Um, uh, but B Big Jack Films reviews rusty humorous beginnings, and uh, let me get the bingo started here. Um, let's see, are we still on ready user one? We are. That's good. Um, we're not doing the the player the, we're not doing the re, uh, the ready player ones uh, review right now, but we might get to that. It's bingo, everyone. Ready user one, and uh, I think I still have this. Uh, I think I still have it saved. If not, uh, let me see here. Is this the right fucking link? It's not. It's the goddamn YouTube link again. Fucking hell. Oh, I hate this shit. Um. Just give me a new one. Fucking give me a new one. God damn it. Just give me a new one. Alright, let's see here. Alright. That should give you a real bingo. If that gives you, like, my bingo, then I'm gonna be real pissed off. But I think that one works. I think that'll work. I think that one works. Uh, t t t t t t Junior! Uh, this user, a little free space there. If you're new to the bingo, ask in chat what your things mean. Uh, some of them might be a little unclear. Most of them are probably pretty understandable, though. If you've watched any of these streams recently, you'll certainly know what the whisper scream is. Although maybe this could be elaborated to be like the don't wake mom whisper scream. <laughs> like, it's the, 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 the par parental relation of that scream cannot be undersold. People need to know that that scream is the one that you do when your uncle is asleep in the other room and, you know, like, this is very important. F maybe not parental, but familial. Um, so yeah, this is just gonna be a compilation of storyline stuff, I guess. Is this all from one? This is just... I love that the season one is ten, less than ten minutes long. Season two is a half an hour. Season three is fucking... An hour long in two parts. Season four is up. The, oh god, he's got a prologue and it's fifteen minutes already. Oh Jesus Christ! And then there's another like it's over an hour now, with not including the prologue. Then there's a fucking. Then there's season five over here. How many parts is season five? Oh Jesus Christ! <sighs> Look at these fucking thumbnails. Okay, well here's part one. Yeah, the the font, the titular font in the in the uh, the thing, it's actually the f the it is the font that's shown in the thing in the in the bingo square. But what you're looking for is actually um this font. You know, the one that the dogs eating dogs six people like to use, the 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 lobster font. That's the that's the font. If you get the font bingo square, it's the one that it's the one that's meant to go with this hard ass image of Jason Gomez fucking murkin uh his friend in the goddamn streets the hard streets of origami city uh <laughs> I like that the square just says font without elaborating, but some people some people just don't understand. This is a compilation of story-based clips from the first season of the Big Jack films. Wait, from 2013? You mean when you were like a little kid? He is he's he's like a little kid here, isn't he? Okay. Well, he okay, he's a teenager. He's still we, we got a luffy there. There was a bit of a luffy scene. A film that is inspired. Yeah, this is him as a kid. Okay, we don't need this. What we need is like, let's jump to this fucking one here, season five. Let's just do season five, part one. Let's do, let's jump to season five. That's got to be good. 
come on, give me... Okay, but how old actually are you, though, in this? Are you... Alright, you're an adult. He's an adult. He's a... He's a... He's an adult. I know that's not easy to tell, but he's an adult, so... Yeah, it's just an intro, and... Okay, okay. Oh my god, Linkara and the nerd, and they've all been here, and oh my god. What's amazing to me is that they've all, like, this guy's escaped a radar. Like, my radar, Magic Mush has never talked about this guy, and he had a whole video about, like, Nostalgia Critic rip-offs. Rip I was just watching the fucking Medicare coverage of uh, uh, that guy with the glasses from back in the day. Uh, and that also uh, mentions, like, rip-off people like like Game Dude and uh, what was his name? L L Lanza or whatever the fuck. That guy who, like, tried to drive to the Red Letter Media head headquarters because he got trolled by some people on 4chan. Uh, and, and even that video did not mention this guy who who's apparently been at it for a very long time i guess he was a teenager back then but nowadays he's 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 grown he's a man and he's still making these like these like horrible linkara movie skits as 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 videos still does this there he is he's he's quite a man oh you're not seeing it that's okay you haven't mi you haven't missed anything it's just the intro it's you well you did miss him going Kamehameha here. Yeah, it's just it's just a it's, it's just a clip show of shit. Why would I want a second monitor so that I could see the chat? I would still look away from it sometimes. I would still be annoying to me and I would still just avo uh, avoid looking at it at at times. I get enough of you guys as it is. No, no, no offense, uh, Chad. I, I, I'm, 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 I'm quite good. I appreciate you looking out for me and telling me I'm a boomer, and and calling me a piece of shit if I literally do anything wrong on the stream ever. But uh, I'm good. I don't need. I don't need more. So, is this film worth being featured on the King Kong review series, or does it deserve the same trashing treatment as- What a voice. He really is like a- like a young Getty Lee. I mean, he's got this, like, out-of-time anachronistic haircut, Markov anachronistic. Uh, but he, he- I mean, even this video, by default, this whole guy's channel is like, it's fucking ten years out of date at any point in time. Uh, but- Y yeah, uh, his voice sounds like the fucking guy from Rush. It's crazy. Most video game adaptations. Well, let's take a look. This is Hollywood's adaptation of the video game classic, Rampage. I'm so glad that I don't have to sit through the parts of this video that are just, like, him actually reviewing the thing. Because, I mean, his review was the least interesting part of the Ready Player One video. His review was, you know, like, it was it was a lot of kind of missing the fucking point uh, of, I mean, like, not even missing the point exactly, but what would you say? It, it's it, it was a lot of him, like, not addressing the movie. He'd, he'd be talking about the movie in, like, sort of a tertiary sense, but then... Mainly, he'd talk about, like, things surrounding it, like, uh, you know, movies that it's based on, movies that it is similar to, uh, the book that it's based on, the fucking, you know, things like that. So the actual review wasn't very good, but it was also not, like, funny bad. The skits, on the other hand, oh boy, am I ever happy that he just has these, like, uh, just uploaded on their own. Fire some yeah, more folks, beams. Dr. Karawat's got me on some new tech right now. So yeah, folks, Rampage is fun and all, but it's just a typical movie that I really don't have much to talk about, and I guess this is the last King Kong knockoff I'll be taking a look at for a while. This is from 2019, by the way, this video. This is from 2019. This is, a uh, this is, this is, this is a little bit past the era where you would see videos... That just look like this, I don't know, this this style of, like, camera in guy's room filled with a bunch of fucking posters and shit. Uh, 
this is like a 2009 video. I mean, it's and it's great. I like that. But considering I'm it's a decent video game movie, it gets an extra life on this point. So with all the King Kong films I've tackled in almost every genre, what the hell is there left to cover? In fact, let's see what's happening next month. Bad hair, haven't clicked that. Hmm. Uh, well, this month is January, and next month is my birthday. I mean, what else could be going on in February? This guy's costume really is that he holds a fucking, a, a fucking power glove. Like, that's what his costume is. <laughs> It's that he holds a power glove. Like, he's just some guy in, like, a fucking t-shirt. And he has a power... And he... I, I shouldn't say he holds a power glove. He wears the power glove. He's... The, the power is in his hands. Now he's playing with power and all that. So, you know, he's... He's, he's wearing the power glove. And that's what his costume is. That's just... That's the full costume. I, I love that. It's just the stupid power glove. And what's great about that is, like, everybody had the fucking power glove. Like, I swear it got more sales in, like, 2008 than it ever did in the 90s. Because people just needed to have a fucking power glove to be their... The, the, like, AVGN did his video about it, and then probably, like, Irate Gamer a week later made his own video about it, too. And, like, I'm sure fucking Game Dude had one... I, I think even Nostalgia Critic, who didn't even talk about games that much, I'm pretty sure he had one. Like, those were prolific. It's great that this guy's got the era-appropriate gear on. I would have been upset if it was just like an R-Zone around his fucking head. Oh my. Wait, what? Cunny Kong? What the fuck is it? Oh, King... K Kinky Kong? Is that- no, that's Kinney. K-I-N-N-Y? Uh, what? Okay. <laughs> oh my! Oh good, it's time for... Android 18 is here, everybody. It's time to get Super Saiyan. Call from Professor Pork Dexter. Are you fucking insane? What? You got a problem with what- Oh my god. Dexter. Are you- oh, There's a poisonous gas! Oh, we're all gonna die! Oh, oh. Are you insane? That's good. That's just a good random clip. I want just- I, I always like seeing stuff- and just my first thought is the, the, the sped up get real gif. You know, just like any clip of him, like just him waving his arms just says, get real. What? You got a problem with what I'm doing? Yes! Do you not know what type of power you're unleashing? Does Jack even know what you're doing? Jack doesn't need to know. Besides, it's gonna be a nice little surprise for him. Oh, that's a terrible, it's gonna be this. You know what I do is it breaks the gravitational mass of reality! That law was broken when this damn machine was created. Begin the genetic sequence. Processing complete. Beginning sequence. And there's like attempts at animation here i mean he has the character cut out and actually kind of bobs her around like animates her slightly moving in this direction it's like probably more effort here than the actual nostalgia critic movies which is really saying something what is your do it hey, Buddha, 
there's no way the AI, uh, there was AI voicing Android 18. This is from like 2019, apparently. Sadly, people were just never going to get the full storyline of Big Jack films and his Big Jack storyline. So we're not going to know who the, the, the fat scientist boy is. We're not going to know why there's anime characters happening. But I'm sure we'll pick up why with context clues. We'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. Oh my god, the hand came up! Can we can we count films as studios or productions? Because I mean like like films really I, I guess it's not the same thing, but it it sure feels like the same thing. I don't know. Milksteak says like one more till bingo. What do you mean? You what how did you get a bingo? I don't have a bingo. Look at this fucking shit. I am being an asshole and assume this guy probably has DVDs and VHS and mark this one. Fuck it. You know what? Fuck it. It's, it's my fucking stream. I'm giving myself studios or productions because it's films. It's basically the same. It's the same. Uh, didn't ask. I mean, we didn't ask for any of these fucking skits to be made, but I don't think that counts. No, I'm not getting a fucking bingo. This ain't fucking happening. Greetings and welcome to you, brave citizens of- Guys, it's, uh, Skrillex- what was his- what, what were we calling him? Steampunk Skrillex, that was what it was. It's Steampunk Skrillex, everybody. He doesn't look as much like Skrillex now, but he still kind of looks steampunk. Of our new world, I'm Toronto's greatest supervillain and evil genius, Dr. Terawatt. This is our Layer 3.1, and today- This is apparently a real guy, and he's just going by his real-life fake superhero name. Uh, I guess in this world that uh, this man has created this is quite something is our third questions Thursday Hey doc. Thanks for your assistance in building the voice crack dimensional transporter and with that DS chip that caused some trouble back in 2017 I've got a question for you My cybernetic Android is going through some memory card problems and some glitches in her system How can I fix this problem to improve her abilities? Jack, I'm going to just go out on a limb here and assume that you're attempting to house her mainframe and a lot of her other integral systems inside her avatar and she's walking around. What I would suggest is creating a large- Once again, this guy has more charisma than anybody else in this video. I mean, I, I don't know. I- I don't know how he does how he does that. Your beefier mainframe that's stable and is external to the avatar that she wants. I don't around. know how you manage to be the Chad in a video like this. How anybody can be the Chad in a in in a video like this is yeah. is amazing. So a large mainframe, subterranean, preferably, just to keep it out of harm's way and keep it sort of off the grid, more or less, and have that be able to hook up in one fashion or another to the avatar, which she uses to explore and interact with her environment. That way, in the but also I don't give a shit though, cause this is the same thing that he was. This is the same shit they did with him in the other video that was that had him, where he was, he was just kind of babbling about fake science fiction bullshit for like, y you know, like some made up fucking lore for this review. Like, like none of this matters. Obviously, this isn't like he's actually giving a real explanation about fucking anything. This isn't like watching Vsauce. This is just some some guy fucking I, I guess like he's pretty good at faking a bunch of like techno babble. He's he's good at you know off the cuff coming up with some fucking reverse the polarity of the neutron flow kind of shit. Uh but it's it's still I it still kind of didn't ask I mean yeah, I'm going to go with didn't ask on my bingo because it it's like who Okay, you, we came here for presumably, like, what did you come here for? Either whatever video this was originally, and the, this was cut into a storyline compilation, you came here for whatever review it was or something. 
uh, or or you came here for a storyline compilation, which is what I clicked on, and you probably weren't looking for super in-depth details about how Android 18 can be there. Because, like, I don't give a shit. I mean, this is so much more effort than anybody should really put into just... I put all my action figures together, and now they're here. ...event that she gets destroyed, you're not losing everything, and it allows you to create a more sophisticated mainframe and brain, more or less, for her system. And until next time, my great citizen, I'm Charles Green, Super Villain, Evil Genius, Dr. Terra White, this is 3.1 LCU on the Warfront. Right, thank you. Thank you for your assistance, Dr. Terror Cock. <laughs> Left free to explore his fantasies, Kong peels layer after layer of Anne's clothing from her body, gently prolonging the moments, inhaling- Why are we looking at his belly? You can see his gunt. Everybody mark off gunt. If you see gunt, just mark it off gunt on your bingo. Take a bingo, have your bingo, take a gunt, mark your gunt, enjoy your gunt, click on gunt. There, thank you. Um, we, we didn't ask to see this. It's like people people always want to do that sort of comedy shot thing too where it's like oh it's not that he thinks that people would ever want to see him naked or like with his his shirt off or anything it's that the joke is that he's so out of shape that and nobody would ask to see him shirtless it's another d d didn't ask to to see this happening here um it, it's uh, yeah, uh, a lot of people seem to like to do that. We we see that a lot, where it's like some guy who thinks that it's really funny that he's like naked and fucking lunging, you know. But like, it's not that funny. I mean, it's a little funny, but it's not that funny. It's mostly just disgusting. Moments inhaling her intoxicating scent and ignoring her feeble protests. Oh. Hello lovers, welcome to this special Valentine's Day episode of the King Kong Reviews. I'm your host, Big Jack Films, or as we put it on Valentine's Day, BJ Films, if you know what I mean. And for part one of this two-part special, ooh, a double- I'm just going to time out the person who's been like drunk spamming a bunch of nonsense for the last like 20 minutes. I'm just going to put you in, t in 30 minute timeout. Go have a waffle or something. Cool. You know, sober yourself up a little. Gagger, I must Anyways, say. Anyways, back to sex. We'll be taking a look at a 1980s porno spoof using loads of stock footage and some impressive hands. Woo! -hoo. So, let's cuddle up together and take a gander at King Dung. Like I said, this is part one of two of our Val- Does he, does he review porn then? Is that what his review- does he do that? Valentine's Day special. King Dong, there was another review that was- uh, there was another porn video that he saw that looked sexy. It looked like there was some penises involved in that film. So, is that like what he does? Is that- okay. I have to go non-full screen here. You're not able to see the beautiful full picture. So tune in next time when we take a look at another erotic tale based on Peter Jackson's groundbreaking epic. Until next time, this is The Love Boat. Yeah, so out of place adult interest. I wouldn't expect this guy to be like reviewing porn and doing fucking... I'm sorry, like that pose, you know. Going to a place only discovered in, in myth fireplace. until now. He's in front of his mom's fireplace. Uh, ben, uh, Benzai, I think, was the one who reviewed porn. I, I think, or or was that? Yeah, I think it was Benzai. He had like a, he had a review of the game Rape Lay, uh, which I never knew was if that was supposed to be a portmanteau of rape and lay, or if it was supposed to be a rape play. I don't, I don't know what they were going for with that. Maybe it's both. Maybe it's smarter than you think it is. I don't know, but uh, I remember that. I remember Ben's I watched that. Uh, yeah, there were a lot of cool... You know, what's sad, again, I watched the fucking... Uh, the Medicare video about uh, that guy with the glasses from back in the day. And uh, he he mentioned... I forgot about this. He, he mentions this site called Reviewtopia. Which I guess was like an alternative... That guy with the glasses, an alternative channel awesome but hosted by, like, infinitely less talented and interesting people. And unfortunately, it seems like most of Reviewtopia is gone. Gone with the wind. Which, what, what a shame. I'm sure we all wanted that. 
uh apparently most of it is like lost media at this point so that's it's real really unfortunate all right cut cut can we get another one man i wasn't feeling that well from the looks of it you didn't feel anything at all down there why do you think i hired you to direct this mother cutter carl Dude, I'm a film splicer, not a director. Everything was going fine until you fumbled up your lines. Hey, who's the one who was brave enough to write this special? Not many reviewers have the balls to do a Valentine's Day special, you know. All right, fuck it, y'all. Take a five-minute break. Tina, where's... You know, he really does look like Michael Moore. Special, you know. Like, he, he, he's even, I mean, you just put a few extra years on him, a couple more pounds, and bing, bang, boom. All right, fuck it, y'all. Take a five-minute break. Not even that many more pounds. Hey, Tina, where's... Kind of reminds me of, um, I think I might have already said, but it kind of reminds me of Herbie Hops, where he, he looks, like, he's clearly, this is a, a guy in his, like, early 20s or something, because what, he was, like, 14 or 15 or something, five years before this six years before this it was in 2013 this was 2019 so he's probably like 20 21 something like that and he looks like he's in his like like you you 13 going on 30 for sure uh or 1440 or whatever the 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 the, the square is because he looks like herbie hops he has this like old man weird like long haircut and he looks like Dan Schneider a little bit. <laughs> and it's just not... I mean, it's like... You can choose to change your haircut, man. You don't need to stay your whole life looking like this. But but I guess that's what, what you've, you've decided is go, go going for you. So I, I guess, you know, go with it till it stops working. Hey, celluloid weed, I need a smoke. <sighs> Jesus fucking Christ. Yeah, Nick, what's up? She got a little something on Dr. Terrawatt upstairs. Look, if it's about the computer chips for the mechanolith, I lost them, okay? God, this is probably the most embarrassing piece of YouTube material I've had a hand in working in. Looks Who like gives a shit if Saber Spark is woke? He's a brony. You need a hand yourself. Hello, Dr. Oh my god, a female! 18. You seem a lot- Oh, wow. Android 18. Hello, darling. Wow. You seem a lot more, uh... <clears throat> shapely than you did when you were anime. 18. You seem a lot more <coughs> three-dimensional last time I Look, saw it's you. Spencer! Did you guys get a house? <coughs> Let's just say I had a nice hot bath. Good lord, you got the doc to unlock the codes for the reality breaker on the FDT, didn't you? <coughs> well, no shit. How the hell did you hack into the systems without the doc there? Let's just say I had the doc's assistant help. Professor Pork Dexter, are you kidding? Pork Dexter, you really gave your fat friend the name Pork Dexter? That's that's cool. It's that that's such a nice thing. Imagine being this guy's friend, and it's like, hey, hey, Tubby. My name is Anderson. Yeah, whatever, Tubby. You want to be in another one of my fucking films? Yeah, I bet you do, because they couldn't fucking, no matter where you stand, I can't point the camera away from you, you fat fuck. All right, filming's that t tomorrow. You're going to be the giant, fat, wide-load idiot professor. But I don't want, I, you just fucking be there. I'll pay you in ho-hos. Okay, I like ho-hos. Big me? Pork Dexter's a fucking joke! I still don't know why the doc hired him! <laughs> he sucks his own dick, or at least he would if it was big enough! And you know that shit was locked for a reason! I mean, I've already broken the laws of reality, but you probably broke the gravitational pull of logical functionality! And you, did you hear about P Pork Dexter driving across state lines to be with that girl? I tell you, he's bad news! I don't even know why he's in this production! Well, maybe there's a way I can make it up to you. Yeah, don't worry about it. I've got enough problems on my hands as it is. Wait, did he call her fat? Is wait. Full of logical functionality. Where did Are he you call her fat? Me? I think I called her fat. Pork Dexter's a fucking joke. I still don't know why the doc hired him. And you know that shit was locked for a reason. I mean, I've already broken the laws of reality, but you probably broke the gravitational pull of logical- <laughs> Yeah, I guess, um... Go functionality! Well, I don't think that's what he was going for, but... You know, when you look a little bit like Jeff the Killer and you're, well, you know... Well, maybe there's a way I can make it up to you. Uh, yeah, I'm good, I'm good. 
Eh, don't worry about it. I've got enough problems on my hands as it is. I've got the Dark Lord seeking vengeance. Nick Jackson's satellite is still in repair. Huey is pestering me into a crossover review. I've got the Media Hunter on my ass now. Oh no, the Media Hunter. Months, and now I got the stupid Valentine special to deal with. But we'll let this little reprogram slide for now. I mean, like, from behind, he looks like everybody's fucking, like, rock dad. Like, he looks like if your dad was, like, a rocker, and he had, like, long hair, and he just, he just, like, wouldn't let it go. And he's like, it could still be me someday! Like, no, Dad, you're 78 years old. It could still happen! I had a band in 1962! Oh, Dad, it's not gonna happen. It could! I mean, as long as you don't show your true power, not many people as are gonna As long as you do oh, dear. Coming after- oh! Greetings and welcome to you, brave citizens of our new world. I'm Toronto's great supervillain. Right, I'm starting to get fucking sick of this guy, I'm gonna be real. I was, like, complimenting him last time, but now it's, like, he needs to not, like, he needs to either actually be involved or not just be, just not be here. I don't know. He's He seems to just show up to, like, fucking fill time. I don't know. Maybe this will be more relevant to the plot. Genius Dr. Terawatt, this is our layer 3.1, and I'm standing up. As you can see, I've decided to sort of follow in the footsteps of some of the other uh, online content creators that I've seen and uh, decided to try standing instead of sitting in a chair. It allows you to see some more of the lab that I've got so behind. This guy really is just like a lesser Dr. Insano, if you think about it. I mean, like, it's like if Dr. Insano was trying to be a real-life supervillain type of person, which I guess, again, this guy is. He's like an actual real-life Toronto supervillain you know as actual as such a thing would be um and uh yeah i mean it's just spoonie's doctor insano character but less insano and more doctor um a little more canadian so, i Man, guess i'm gonna be moving some of these things around at some point so in in the sense that he sucks we'll get to that and today is another <clears throat> questions thursday blackjack films raises an interesting question <laughs> in me regard nurse unstable yeah regarding having a cybernetic avatar with a separate mainframe protected underground how would it handle if it indeed achieves sentience seeing its body here and its brain there there would be many questions regarding which is the real me whether the avatar is real and indeed whether it can outdo the creator and come up with a battle avatar oh my god this is so fucking uh I want to say get laid, but this loser obviously did. Um, End of line. Thank you. Thanks for your cool story. What is it? What? Okay, what did I skip? What cool info did I skip? Looked up to a body, and then we looked at our brain in the jar. And be like, oh my god, that's me. Like, we we wouldn't have that. No, it's just more hypothetical, theoretical frat boy fucking science. I'm good. I'm, I'm good. I can just go watch Ex Machina if I'm so inclined. Thank you. Dr. Padding. Wow. Wow. I cannot believe we just did that. So many laws of reality have been broken. So he wrote this story. I mean, like, it's not even... You always have to ask if something we're watching is meant to be a joke. And then it frequently gets... And it's it's it frequently bumps up against the line of... Of... Of the Filmerillion. The Filmerillion uh, theory, I guess you could say. Or the Filmerillion's law, maybe. Which is uh, that if you... It doesn't matter if what you've done is intended to be a joke and to troll. It's still embarrassing and pathetic and makes you look like an idiot. And so if the point of this is, haha, isn't it funny that this is so dumb and... But I really don't think it is. I, I really don't think so. He just liked... He just liked Nostalgia Critic back in the day. He likes Ready Player One now. I think he maybe just made this whole thing where he fucks Android 18. Or maybe Android, you know... Maybe Android 80 pounds. Uh, Android... I don't know. <laughs> Android 1800 pounds. Something like that. Make you, Figure out the joke. Figure out the joke. <laughs> 
<laughs> Android uh, 18 from Dragon Ball Z is here in in live in the flesh and then some uh, to fuck him. And uh, he he he's here all for it and we get to see it and we get to think that he's cool because he fucked android 18 and and that's the that's the point of this i think is uh wow it's this is the ultimate in wish fulfillment it's it's amazing it's unreal you've got some moose hot stuff you really knocked me out of the ring on that android one. 8 watch pull over and get some sleep android 18 stone Android 1800 pounds, Android 180 kilograms, uh, Android 18 plates, Android 18 tons. <laughs> He's an Android 18 lover. <laughs> I think I'll sleep right here. Oh, okay. I mean, oh, Jesus. Oh. I mean, this is... But this is more pathetic, though. I mean, okay, there's less children involved with Big Jack films. And sure, it's just kind of like him and his friends or whatever. But it's still him and his friends who he's written a story about him being like the ultimate cool epic guy who fucks his anime crushes and hangs out with D Tony Stark and stuff. And it's like, it's like what happens in... You know, the Origami King bullshit, you know, where it's, I mean, it's the Ollie character. He has, Rosalina is his dynamite gal, but he's not, you don't see the real Dogs Eating Dog 6, the guy, the actual guy who's on camera. You don't see him, like, smooching a, f a fucking, like, Rosalina cosplayer. I guess that makes this better, but I don't know. The fact that this is all in real life and it's not just, like, drawings on the internet, it's it's like it takes it a step beyond. This is LARPing the cringe. Um, hey guys, uh, welcome back to the King Kong Reviews, and is this really a good time? I'm kind of having a private moment here. Jeez, you fans just can't leave this kid alone for five minutes, can you? <laughs> Well, if that's the case, welcome to part two of our Valentine's Day special. And on this episode, we've got another porno spoof to take a look at. I guess this is a little bit of a premature Valentine's Day special, and I mean that in more ways than one, as you can clearly see. If this thing is another title innuendo, I swear to beers, I will blow something up. Well, thankfully, what do you this mean? one's not called King Dog. What do you mean she can't act? She's a great actor, chat member. Don't be mean. Long. She's okay. trying. This one is called Kinky Kong. God damn it! Oh, it was Kinky Kong. Okay, that looks like just another N. All right. But aside from that, the DVD is pretty fascinating to unopen. Jackie boy. Ah, Nick, what are you doing here? How the hell can you stoop to such a level that to unopen? To... How do you fuck up the word open? Like. Where are you from, Toronto or fucking Windsor? You'll buy fucking pornos for your show. From Toronto or Thunder Bay, guy. Get it? Get it? Come on now. Uh, 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 you saw nothing. Is that eighteen in your bed? <clears throat> uh, 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 fuck off! Uh, uh, oh, yeah. I, I'm taking this to myself. Oh god! And thank the fuck Christ, there's no more King Kong porn. Uh, uh, more of this. Goes out there because more spooning with Spoonie. Great. More would probably give me a bad STD. Well, hopefully this thing wears off soon. What's next on the agenda, kid? Well, quite frankly, for the King Kong reviews, there's not much left to talk. Why is she calling him kid? Is she supposed to be like a thousand-year-old android or something? Until later in the year. And... Close your oh, head ass. More, me Take text. off, this eh? not the time to give me information. I mean, it's not like a popular anime character from Japan did a spoof of the original King Kong. <laughs> Did he just say Nani? Oh god. So Honey, it's okay. It happens to every guy. I, um... I'm gonna get a Diet Coke. <laughs> oh dear god. Uh, um... Yeah, no shirt, I guess. Do I have no shirt on here? Do I... Do I have... I don't think I have... What? Why are you adding me and telling me to do no shirt when there's clearly not no shirt on my fucking bingo? Do I have no shirt on here? 
Am I stupid? Am I missing no shirt? I'm not missing it. There's no no shirt. What the fuck? What the fuck? Oh, be sure to mark off no shirt. Yeah, mark it off on your own cunting bingo. I don't have it, you fucking piece of shit. You got me excited for fucking two seconds, you fuck. Don't let your kids watch it. I agree. Seriously, a dog is King Kong? I mean, I've heard of those Kong dog chew toys, but if that's the joke they were going for, that's stretching it. <laughs> why, why, um, why did you get the, wait. Oh. But if that's the joke they were going for, King Kong, I mean, I've heard of those Kong dog chew toys, but if that's the joke they were going for, that's stretching it. Oh, oh, it's the, like, butt plug. Oh. Look they were going for? That's stretching it! Stretching it, you say. Look at that fucking thing and tell me all about stretching it. I mean, that's quite a sh shape for a dog toy, is all I'm saying. Well, I guess I'm just scraping the bottom of the kitty litter at this point, so I guess I should take some time to let more King Kong material roll out before doing the next video. But stay tuned, my fellow subscribers, as we celebrate the 100th episode of the Big Jack Film Reviews. And let's just hope to God it's not another anime adaptation, because- He really goes to the barber and asks them to do this cut for him. Like, he has to go in there with, like, a photo of himself or a photo of fucking Wayne Gretzky from 1982 or something. And just be like, yeah, this is what I'm after. This is what I'm, this is what I'm all about. Please give me this haircut. Hey, 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 you, 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 you goof. Give me this haircut here, eh? Hey? And, and, and then they do. And <laughs> he just looks like this in the 2020s. Lord I no, guess. there's only so much of that I can take in one sitting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, give me the autism cut. Thick Moranis. Ah. Oh. <laughs> wow, this dude's fucking obsessed with Android 18. This is why. <laughs> Now we've got like a different Android 18 in real life thing happening. Instead of it being <coughs> instead of it being Android 18 stone, it's it's this like, you know, like what real doll wax figure or something. <coughs> She's in some kind of fucking pod. And this looks better. I would say this is, this is a more convincing Android 18 in real life. Uh, but, I mean, like, is he just obsessed with this happening? That, like, you already have a canonical in-universe Android 18 in real life. Why do you need another one? Maybe this is, like, another person. Because everybody who Akira Toriyama makes is just the same character, basically. Maybe this is, like, a different Android 18. This is Android 19, and she looks identical, but she's actually from Chrono Trigger, and fuck you if you get it wrong. <laughs> I like that he's doing this around people. There was an old man who gave him a look. For a couple of days. Where the hell am I? Well, shit. My device is out of commission. I can't believe he said a swear. Is he at City Hall? Is he gonna pretend this is New York? Is that why this song is playing? Huh. I guess I'm in New York. Oh, God. I'm pretty sure he's just at, like, Nathan Phillips Square. This looks familiar. Wait a minute. New York. King Kong. I got oh, my God. Android overweight teen. There you go. You got it. You got it. It's Android overweight teen, everybody. That's the pun. Perfect idea for a video, guys. Why don't we go on a huge location tour to see where all the King Kong films were shot? 
Follow me, guys. Let's go take a look. And of course, right here is where Kong fell and met his demise by the weaponry of modern man. It was indeed the beauty in Alberta that killed the beast. Actually, I'm having the weirdest sense of deja vu. Did I die here or something? Well, guys, I, I hope- he was supposed to be in fucking New York. What? Wait. I... I guess there's nowhere, like, he could have just gone to a back alley somewhere and been like, Oh, I guess I'm in New York, and... I mean, it would have been fine, but, okay. If you enjoyed my tour of all the New York locations used in the King Kong movies, and I hope you enjoyed it, and I say you check out the city when you have the chance. But of course I want to hear from you. What are your favorite locations from the King Kong movies? Let me know in the comment section below. So until the next video, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys later. This is Big Jack Films, <clears throat> signing... Uh, Mr. Big Jack Films, no, Mr. I was waiting for the funny meme skit part to start happening, everybody. It's time. It's about to start happening. By the way, I don't know if you can see it here because of the bingo. The next thing in this playlist is a 49-minute re, 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 retaliation. It's Okay, it's retaliation. I, for some reason, I was reading that as revitalization. It's retaliation. Dragon Ball retaliation. A Dragon Ball Z live action slash anime fan film. Uh, I still can't believe the moment with you and 18, says this person. You actually made your waifu real so that you could sleep with her. Y yeah, he sure did, didn't he? That is that is what he did, yep. We're not in New York? Listen to <laughs> the CN Tower! <laughs> oh. That means I haven't been in New York at all. I've been in Toronto the whole time. We, we noticed. King Kong. Did, did, these aren't the locations used in King Kong? <laughs> these are the locations used in Yeti Giant of the 20th Century? Uh. What the fuck? be safe out there i might get attacked by a yeti all right well that's uh part two there i i need to see something now real quick before we move on our part two that's well that's that's video number two there that we've seen that's season five episode one of uh big jack films and uh that's the second video of his that i've watched now well technically the third but but the first one was just like a best of for 2023 uh, I need to see now if I look up on his channel. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is the good stuff right here, people. <clears throat> this is the good stuff. Android 18 checks in on you. And also, Android 18 talks to you at an intergalactic bar. Uh, well, I guess we'll do checks in on you. That sounds more wholesome and loving. God damn it, no full screen allowed, I forgot. Hey kid, what's up? Long day today, huh? Hmm, that's saying a lot. Hey, dude. It's been a totally not tubular day today for you, hasn't it, buddy? That sucks, bro. But you know something? You're my little user, buddy, bodacious, bo 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 double bodega, double massive tubular, awesome. Chumbawamba. What do you expect hanging out with us during these times, huh? Well, when you were left under all that rubble abandoned by society, anyone else would have left you to die. This is the thanks my brother and I get for saving you and taking you in. I heard you've been going through a rough time lately. You want to tell me what's going on? I've heard things have been totally not bodacious at work for you lately. My fellow, my fellow Scrow. 
There's a lot going on in the world right now. A lot of people are panicking over the chaos. Is that what's been bothering you? <laughs> Why bother? You should worry about yourself. Take advantage <laughs> of the opportunities and get what you want. The doctor said it was cancer, Android 18. Come to think of it, I'm due for a new outfit anyway. Might go raid the nearest clothing store. Okay, Could also but use a new set of pearls. Okay, but Android 18, my whole family just died in an hmm? expl. They, they're all <laughs> you dead. You want to buy me one? You got no, me. I. No, I was just saying that my What's whole. What's the point if there's no one at the stores to guard or sell them? The. Everything is still closed. Okay, but Cell and 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 all of them, they killed. They blew up my oh. family. They... It's a nice thought of you, though. You're so. What do you- you are dis- you are sick! Naive. You are sick! It's soft. Life it's it's kind of hot, though! like that anymore. No- Trust me. I've dealt with that enough in my life. Alright, but like- alright, but like- But are you my instant adoring Bal- Balma Android 18 <laughs> girlfriend? I can't watch these videos without just thinking about ador- instant adoring boyfriend. I'll always just think about that and how that was like the pre the predecessor to all of this. And I'm sure it wasn't on purpose. I'm sure nobody saw that and then we're like, oh, I gotta make an ASMR channel. But every video you ever see that's just like, hey, bro, you've had a tough day today, haven't you? This fucking like boyfriend RP shit. It's always just the same thing as instant adoring amazing boyfriend. <laughs> every time. So he's got some of those on his thing. If you need some 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 cool Android 18 affirmations, you got that going for you. Here's more. Hey, stranger. Pissing by yourself tonight? All right. I'm off shift. Pour me a cold blue. He wrote this. The fucking guy with the hockey hair, he wrote this. Are they playing a Toto song? Doesn't really matter. And stuff will get me going in the morning. It's been two years. I wonder how the kid's doing. Is she sitting here, like, thinking longingly about her time with the pudgy fucking hockey hair man from Canada? That's... That's what this person who can explore space and go to intergalactic bars that's what she's doing she's thinking about is that the kid i would assume the same kid from the other video the man the the hockey man think echoes huh who are you why do you care i look down Look who's talking. These are so weird. These are so fucking weird. I don't know how anybody can watch these except the people that make them. It's- and we see a lot of that, like, people that make their weird autism art. But this is, like, a genre of thing that's popular with a lot of people compared to, like, y you know, some fucking go animate shit that makes no sense unless you're in the brain of the person who made it. Here, it's like a lot of people watch weird fucking videos like this, and, and I don't know how you can watch this shit. It's so awkward, and it's not even awkward because it's like an anime character or it's cringe. It's awkward because the person who writes the thing knows what your character is supposed to be saying, but nobody else does. So you get these moments where it's like, oh, hey there. What? What do you mean? And it's like, I don't know. I also don't know what I mean. Why don't you tell me what I mean? I guess. Cause I don't know. I don't, I'm not, I have not been given the script for this fucking interaction that we're having right now. I don't know. I don't, nobody told me the fucking lines I was supposed to do for this insane bullshit. You look like you've been through the ringer and back. Yeah, I was just fucking goats. It was crazy. You're in these parts before. Yeah, they don't have a lot of goats around here. Yeah, you know, gotta go off yeah. planet. 
like I care about that. I'm sorry, I know it's off Hold on. Talk, so. oh. Night, nice. This place is pretty rough. Grab your drink and get lost, you eyesore. Oh, wow. Well, I mean, you know, I'll drink some more and I won't what, look so bad. Or something? Be no. It's good for you. No, but you can give me money if you want. I've never done that sort of thing before. All right, wait. Come back. Oh. <sighs> Take a seat. Oh. Sorry. This has been the first real conversation I've had with someone in, well, a while. So go ahead. Ask me something. Do you like trains? Come on. You were asking me all sorts of questions a second ago. Do you, do you like spaghetti? How long have I been working here? At this joint? That's categorically not what I asked you, cunt! Alright. This is why I can't deal with the fucking femoids, I swear to god. Alright. You know, you talk to them about sp you talk to them about spaghetti, and then they go they st just they just make it about themselves, goddammit. Uh, uh, top 10 goddamn Godzilla movies, King Kong video game. Okay, so we were going to do more of the, uh, we were going to do more of the, uh, the storyline compilation here. Well, I don't think it matters about season five or whatever. Anytime, any part of this that we jump into is going to be just as incomprehensible as the rest of it. So let's watch Big Jack Films, the movie, The Great War. Season 7 Storyline Compilation Part 3 Multiverse Battle. And I think this actually... No, okay, maybe not this, because this is, I think, from... Oh, okay, it's the Ready Player One review compiled into a two-hour movie. So, guys, if we... I guess if we want to just skip the fucking review parts of the Ready Player One thing... The, the good parts are all here in a two-hour format. That's good. That's great. This is the new, the new entry in the fucking Nostalgia Critic Cinematic Universe is here. And, it's, and, and it went under the radar a little bit, but it's here. Uh, we're going to go back first, though. Locks and Keys, Season 7 Storyline Compilation Part 2. We got A Call to Arms, Season 7 Storyline co Compilation Part 1. Uh, I mean, which one of these looks good? Uh, you know what? We'll do five, Season 5 Part 2, which is, okay, what we were just going to watch anyway. But the thumbnail looks kind of fucking stupid. It's got, like a, it's got a, a high concentration of stupid bullshit happening in the thumbnail, so that looks good. All right, yeah, we've seen the intro. We know the intro. There's COVID-19 happening, so, you know, it's going to get in the way a little bit, obviously. Hey, guys, what's up? It's Big Jack Films here, and welcome to another Let's Talk. And today we're... Excuse me for just a moment. Oh, God. It's like people still make these fucking things, too. People still make these fucking skits. Not even just this guy, but, like, real YouTubers. People still do this, and sometimes they're funny. Sometimes you get a Kadikaris who's, like, self-aware. But a lot of the time you still just get that, Oh, hi! I didn't see you there! Who could that... Who could that be at the door? What? I didn't order any pizzas! Uh, you just get so much of this now. What the? I mean, what? you got so much of this back then, but you still get so much of this now. Who the hell are you? This is this is essentially on par with that video from Sonic Sega Gamer, where from ten years ago, where he was just like throwing himself around his bedroom and falling on the ground and stuff and calling it like acting or something or it was like in kid goes insane or something was the title of the video kid he was like the size of two adult men and he was 18 at the time but kid uh but it was something like that kid loses insanity and this is basically that but with more uh, this is that but if it was scripted <laughs> Hey, 
Well, thank God that's over. Anyway, that was Big Jack Films' whole whole life. He's dead now, though. It's unfortunate. <sighs> oh, it was the <sighs> other guy who died. Okay. <sighs> Oh, wait, this is the other guy. Yeah, we had this Big Jack's films, and now we have this other different Big Jack's films. I guess he got murdered by his future self. His dark phalus has taken over, everybody. We're all gonna be forced to review the Smurfs, too, now. Careful with words like nega jack. Oh, hey guys, um. Well, I think I just killed myself, literally and figuratively. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, he ain't getting up. Uh, I, I just straight up murdered the Let's Talk guy. Or the Let's. S so, I mean, like, there's an element of this that feels. Sure, okay, he all wants to do this because he likes. Nostalgia critic and because they had cl scenes like this, but I mean Obviously, there's the element of wish fulfillment. He's like killing himself for content. I Don't know. There's like a psychological angle. You could certainly look at this from uh, I, I can't I still can't get over the fact that he made Android 18 real so he could have sex with her and So much of her too. Dog version of myself <laughs> uh. Feels good to pretty much have this show now. <laughs> and a uh, nice new jacket because the old one was fucked. <laughs> good God, this is probably the darkest sketch I've ever done. Yeah, suicide, that's right. Yeah, put that one down. Right, well, only intro. I am a sick bastard. Huh, huh. No, you are. No, this speaks to many issues that you may possibly have in your life, sir, and I'm frankly worried for you. Users! God, he's got another intro. That's great. Weave! Seen a lot of Hotel Mario memes, even though the game itself is still horrible as it seems. But where are those creative, well-made mashups, which all of us can rely? Lucky, there's a mashup guy. I think it fits. He's the maker. There he is. He's a Rosalina lover. There'll be lots of things that'll make us laugh and cry. He's a Mash up, guy! Oh god, the intro goes on for too long, though. Um... There you go. Of this character. I, I think they both fit pretty good. Was the final episode, which included stuff like this. Kira, I've wanted to apologize to you for so long. <laughs> Why you, Flay? I was in such pain. I was always. Yeah, you can see why I was easily attached to this character. And no, it had nothing to do with the fact that she floated down like an angel with her. Sexy ghost body holding. Oh, I really thought that actually was the reason. I, I, when he said you could see why, I'm like, well, no, I don't know. I didn't get this far into Gundam. I watched a bit of the first series, and this is like the fifteenth fucking Gundam series or something. So no, I don't know why. Uh, exactly. She was. Uh, uh, other than the fact that you might have wanted to fuck her, I don't know why. Kira, as he cries. Right. I uh, see all of that. Films here and welcome to another not going there buddy oh hey guys what's up it's big jack films here and welcome to another oh god which all of us can rely oh oh 
Sorry there, folks. I'm uh, trying a set of new lights for my studio here. Kind of reminds me of a J.J. Abrams movie. <laughs> you know, it's funny to think I haven't talked about the guy yet, have I? God damn it, I still can't pronounce Michael's last name! You know, and the one thing I have to say, like, this is a really good fake nostalgia critic. I mean, it's not watchable good. Like, it, good in terms of would would I watch this on my own time? No. Absolutely never, but it's like he's got all of the beats down and how they're edited. I mean, it's not quite because it, he focuses way too much on the fucking skit part. That's why we have entire storyline compilations of this shit. So that's why we have like two hours of skits in a review about fucking Ready Player One, you know. Uh, but like you know it's it's still better than like a game dude video or something like comparatively in terms of other people that have ripped off you know that type of video like i i think this is less embarrassing than a lot of the rip off people i mean no it's more embarrassing but it's more it's it's also simultaneously more capable and like g coherent and uh, i don't know it, it's a weird it exists at a weird crossroads a middle ground Hang between on, light and shadow. On this. Uh, don't move, okay? Uh, we're getting more sex anime. This guy's a real coomer, isn't he? I mean, he 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 was making sex jokes in his like Ready Player One video. He was making, and I remember we we were watching. We were like, this is a little weird. Is he is that on purpose? Is he doing that? Or no, that might have been something else, but he was making some kind of jokes, and now here he's he keeps referencing, like, anime with big titties, hentai, sex movies, fucking Kinky Kong, or whatever the, the fuck. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, does this guy have, like, a fucking porn hub where he does, you know, big cock films, <laughs> reviews, or whatever? Is there is there like Big Jack films after dark? Is that on the internet somewhere? My heart. Yeah, mine too. It's beating incredibly fast right now. Hey Skune, do you know how to pronounce <laughs> For God's sakes. Oh! Um I can't believe we're actually watching old Mama Max videos, everyone. It's crazy stuff. <laughs> Never mind then. Okay, Skune. Get your rubbers. <laughs> How embarrassing. Awkward. I just, there's like, the, the every second that I'm watching this, I'm kind of hearing the, like, Mike Stoklasa. How embarrassing. Oh my god. How embarrassing. Just every shot, it's like, wow, you put yourself into this. How in bear Oh my god, what's wrong with your face? How embarrassing! Oh, hey, Tibber, at least it wasn't Mocha. What's going on? Jack off films. Nothing, honey, go back to your coffin. Sunset isn't for another hour. <laughs> Nothing, honey, go back to your coffin. But, um... So, I don't know, there's just some, some elements here that are reminding me of Randy Stare. Anyway, so until the next video, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys later. This is Big Jack Films signing... Hey, what the hell? Like, we're all just here, but for the grace of Big Jack Films not... Like, deciding that he wants ghost girl pussy, you know? I mean, like, he's in Toronto, too. He could pull a fucking... What's his name? A Alec Manassian or whatever. He could pull that guy. He, he could he could pull a... Oh, God. I fucking forget that... He, he, he could... He, he could he could pull something at any moment and you just gotta be aware. Anytime you're out and about in Toronto and you see a weirdo with hockey hair... You just be careful. Just, just, I don't know. He 
He could pull a hamstring. Well, obviously, I'd prefer he doesn't pull anything, but I'm just saying, like, he seems like a person who... There's elements of his thing where it's like, Haha, wife, get back to your coffin! And he kills himself. And there's just stuff going on here that feels kind of game dude-ish. It feels like not... I, I don't know, it feels like stuff that would be, like, looked at later as, Wow, th there were signs all this time, oh my god. How did no one see it? Ah, oh, he's got that Doug Walker white balance going. Looks like a real That Guy With The Glasses production. Just as good. I think that's the funniest thing about this, is that there are a lot of people on That Guy With The Glasses who whose videos didn't even look this good. I mean, yes, that was years ago, but just, like, I don't know, this guy's given some of them a run for their money. I mean, like, this is visually not that far beneath, beneath what Doug Walker's actually putting out. You know, uh, it's, it's, it's kind of sad for, for Channel Awesome, really. The only thing, the only thing separating this guy from being better than Doug Walker and all of his production is if... He had the money that Doug has. He could probably get better equipment, and he would probably do a better job with what he has. I'm just going to be real. I think this guy might be more talented and care... He might care more. I don't know about more talented. But I think he might care more than Doug does at this point. Like, Doug... And Doug just can't fucking shoot anything. He can't, he can't figure out how to run a goddamn camera to save his fucking life. He can't figure out how to direct anything or like white balance or edit anything. Everything and and I and I blame Doug because like I don't know if it's all Doug, but at the end of the day it's the stuff Doug makes always just looks like shit. And this guy, you know, like it it, it looks about as good as some of the stuff Doug Walker has put out just like with lower quality shit. If he had more if he had access to better quality stuff, he'd probably have stuff that looks better than Doug. It would still be obnoxious and hard to deal with, but then so is Doug. So, I mean... Big Jack's Films. No, nobody's ever heard of him before. He is the brand new user. He This user has 20,000 subs, and yet nobody I've ever heard of, myself included, Who's ever mentioned that guy with the glasses impersonators and imposters and and ripoffs and, you know, people inspired by them. This guy's name has never come up to my knowledge. And he's got, he's putting a lot of fucking effort in. He is, he is hungry for that nostalgia critic money. Well, maybe not the money, but he's hungry for that bone. Nostalgia critic's bone. And, and to that end, he actually had Doug and and James Rolfe appear in his shit, apparently. I mean, I think they were just at cons for, for James Rolfe. And Linkara was also in his, th in his intro. So this guy's very... This guy's serious, okay? Oh my god, finally I'm being abducted! Thank God I don't have to live on this planet. Oh no, it's just J.J. Abrams! Damn it, J.J! Why did we need a tape? Um, like, there's an ego thing here where he makes this video that's like a storyline compilation. I mean, what storyline? I kind of assumed there'd be more storyline to it because the fucking Ready Player One video did have like a storyline and this whole Lord of the Rings war arc, multi -war multiverse war with Iron Man and fucking Daleks and shit. Uh, and, and so I thought this would be like a lead up to that. Some of it is, but a lot of it is just like, all right, guys, today I'm going to review th this thing. And, uh, and then he just doesn't, um, you know, he just doesn't include the parts that have the reviews. It's not really like a storyline compilation. It's just every 
skit, I guess. Like, I guess skit would be the better word than storyline compilation here. But I'm sure this guy thinks this is a real story he's telling. Ah, oh, Kimosabe. He's got some Weeaboo Jones speak on his on his thing there. I I see it. Ah, oh, Leviathans are coming! He's got the Leviathan blade! He's gonna get you, pedophiles! Oh, hello, Big Jack Films. Welcome to the chat. We love your videos. They're great. You're the new Nostalgia Critic, man. Keep it up. These are fantastic. <laughs> these are... These are wonderful, wonderful films. You, you really jacked up those big films. You really... You really put the Jack Films in Big Jack Films. <laughs> you might want to consider a new name, though. I gotta be real. There's kind of a market already... It's kind of already the market's cornered on big on ja on Jack's film. I mean, you know, Jack's film, the guy who got who got doxxed by Sniper. You you could you could go with like you go with like Jack's Jack's off films. <laughs> I don't know, but there could be something. Oh. He's got that Star Wars kid swag. He's going for it. What was the fucking Star Wars kid song? I don't remember. I don't remember what the, I think it was. Hang on. I think this is the wrong meme. Yeah, this is the wrong meme. I'm pretty sure. But you know what? It's from the same era. It's it's from the same era. I love Zack Snyder! Alright, 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 alright. That's fine, that's fine. Your skills have improved immensely. <laughs> this is a dream. It is, if you wish it to be. I have not had such visions. No, I mean like, oh, okay, all jokes aside, big, big, big cock films, listen. All jokes aside. <laughs> I was saying last time we were looking at this on stream, I was saying like, listen, we, there's some, I'm sure that some people have some criticisms, but don't worry about that. The important thing here is that you've got a chat room of however many people and we're all fucking loving your stuff. <laughs> you got Doug there. You got fucking James there. Y y you're, you, you got the official next nostalgia critic movie and i gotta be honest with you it's better than the real ones i mean i was so much more into the fucking like the go the the goblork paradise was so much better <laughs> than any moment into boldly flee <laughs> i love that part in fact that's led to us doing a whole entire parody cover user song uh, you probably don't know what user means yet that's that's you you're a user but don't worry we're all users as well we're all users in this great game of life. For a long time. Not since you disappeared. Yet, you still wander the worlds of time, hoping to find some remedy of my former self. I never stopped looking for you. The story is continuing in March. Well, I promise before March we'll get through the Ready Player One storyline. Okay, I will say this though, it's cringe that you like Ready Player One. That's the one that, that's the one thing I'm gonna say. But everything else aside, it's kind of cringe that you were like, this is his best Steven Spielberg's best movie in year I don't know. That's I don't I don't mean to be the opinion basher, because opinions are everyone's opinions and we don't bash opinions. And I don't, and I, furthermore, I don't mean to be the attention seeker. 
And frankly, we have a new enemy in town. And I don't want that to be me. So and I and I don't and I you know I seriously are you normal? So I'm not trying to say I'm normal. Seriously. So I'm not trying to say you know bash your opinion. But I just I I really I don't know if I I don't know if I like Ready Player One very much. That's all I'm saying. The sign. What does your heart tell you? Strange. Since obtaining my true power- Okay, but there's a lot of this though. Okay, so he's a samurai ninja. He's gonna go fuck Elizabeth Kagome Hime Adams. <laughs> you know, Inuyasha got forever ruined for me by Elizabeth Kagome Hime Adams, the queen of the chans. Uh, I'll, I'll I'll never be able to think of Inuyasha or the, the female lead of Inuyasha without thinking about how she's the queen of the chans. And how we're Myron, her and and she's and sh and she that we're all just lurkers. Uh, she looks so f so fair and majestic, Elizabeth Kagome Hime Adams over here. No copyright! It's a copyright strike. A wee moet, a wee moet, a wee moet, a wee moet. Okay, right, yeah, I, I see. Are we here at a frickin' lion safari? Because I know he's in the Toronto area, so he must be at a frickin' lion safari. Uh, such majestic creatures, and 100% non CGI. Oh, hey guys, it's Big Jack Films here, and welcome to another review. So I just. Oh, that's Kikyo? Alright, well, I don't know, man. <laughs> I watched some Ish Inuyasha when I was a kid. I liked it. Well, I liked the idea of it. I liked what I thought was going to be a samurai show with a cool red guy with a sword. And then most of it was like Kagome in a bath longingly thinking about Inuyasha. And I, I kind of, I, I sleep, I sleep a little bit. But I, uh, I, I, yeah... I had to come over here to the Toronto Zoo to reflect oh, we're just on at my the 90s zoo. Okay. childhood, and it's hard to believe that it's been 30 years since Bro, Disney you gotta go to a frickin' lion safari and get some real on-scene footage of the, 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 the baboons on your car giving you, like, mooning your window. It's great. He had its second wave of massive hits. And honestly, I wonder what the hell the surprise could be. I mean, it could be anything. A birthday party, a direct video sequel, a trip to Disney... Okay, why is the ground suddenly shaking like Maybe me? there's like something you could get to grab for your microphone that could make this yeah, I mean, Gina, You know, you know what? what? I'm gonna give it bad mic everyone. We're giving it bad mic. We just need a smoke alarm beep and we're fucking it's it's good. We're good to go. Wait, what? Yeah, he's at the Toei Rock Quarry. He's at half of the planets from classic Doctor Who right now. This is crazy. Jesus, first the brontosaurus is now this! <laughs> run, Big Jack, run! Okay, Simba! Simba, you run too! Hold on a second! Stop. Stop. Oh, this is turning into one of those Pooh's adventures now. Where he, like... He runs alongside, you know, Winnie the Pooh and the Weekenders while they're getting away from the, the SS or something. There's an elephant. Oh, he looks goth in this shot. Around here. Guy falls in poop. Classic element of physical comedy. Now comes the part where we throw our heads back and laugh. Ready? Ready! I, I know this meme. I've, I've seen this meme before. Ha <laughs> ha, guys! Very funny! <laughs> Elephants eat. Oh, what? he fell in poopy. That's why he looks goth now. Eat too much peanuts! But of course I want to hear from you. What is your opinion on the Lion King and its legacy it's left on the world? Let me well, buddy, there's a whole lot of people that want to fuck lions now, so mainly that. Let me know in the comments section below. So until the next video, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. This is Big Jack Film signing off. I wonder how many times he fucks up the like, comment, and subscribe thing, because like...
Because I'm just conditioned now to, to every time I think of K, who just remember to like, comment, um, get all your uh, get your friends subscribe. Uh, yeah, yeah, get all your friends subscribing. Get everyone you know subscribing. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe. And if you like what you see, uh, uh, view, 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 keep viewing me. Keep, please keep. Thank you, thank you for viewing me. And uh, all right, toodaloo. Oh, and merch. There's merch. And for now. It is time. Of, there's definitely a lot of animals there. That's cool. Here we are. Is, is he a is he a, is he a, is he a ninja again here? Man, like there is a storyline that's happening here, but it's it's so slow moving. Oh, here we are with the demon lord. Never mind. We're back to hell. We're back where we belong. Let's 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 watch. Come on now. Get us back to the demon lord here. We need the demon lord. Yeah, this is, this is the good stuff. This is what we come for. Main fair, the creature can't find me. You're not ending his mid and towels. You're not ending Jesh Lawson. I'm serious, you're not ending. I'm not saying you're not ending. I'm not saying you're not ending. I'm not saying you're not what what is why does it have the robot speaking in like a text to speech from another language and then we don't have this guy being subtitled even though he clearly needs subtitles then perhaps it's time to call upon someone more powerful all right i heard that okay but i didn't hear most of that though i didn't <clears throat> Alliance of Evil, I think. I have an old friend waiting for her 10,000. Isn't this just the guy from Diablo 2? What was his name? Diablo 2 or something? <laughs> oh, I know her. She's from, um. She, she's from, um. She's from, uh, Rescue Rangers. Also, notice you had a little. Notice, pay close attention to the soundtrack here. Oh, that must be from the fucking Power Rangers Hollywood movie trailer where they do the, like, you know, distant echoey piano. Da 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 da. You know they play the the tune you know the thing you know because it's the thing you know everyone. Yeah. That's, yeah. Power Rangers 2017. Right. Right. Here we are with Satan once again, ladies and gentlemen. Ashes smoke of the powers of the darkness. I command you forth to bring me a worthy ally. Bring forth a member of the United Alliance of Evil from the Morphing Rift. This is Kanye West. Who dares summon me from my evil slumber? AOC, what are you doing here? Design. But also destroy all of the Rescue Rangers and the Avengers and the Justice League 
and the West Coast Avengers and the Teen Titans and also all of the Looney Tunes and uh, Princess Ariel also. All of them need to die. And also that one bitch I know from Gotcha Life. Destroy us, Lord of the Zelda. For good. I will not only destroy them, I will obliterate their entire legacy. I will foresee that the Gothic grid itself will turn to ash. <laughs> Finally, a real worthy ally to my cause. Well, you know, Jack's got Satan summoning uh, Rita Repulsa on on his on his cell phone. He's calling her up. She's gonna she's gonna kill the Power Rangers. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. So thank you, Jack, for joining us. This was a good time. I enjoyed watching your stuff. We'll see more of it at some point. There's more to the storyline here, and we definitely have to watch more of the. Uh, more of the Ready Player One storyline with the multi-universal war that was happening. Uh, that that was a that was that was captivating stuff. Uh, but for now, we we will be moving on here. I do have some other stuff. Um, okay, we've got this guy. Who are you? Oh yeah, somebody told me about this guy like the other day, and this sounded kind of kind of fun uh apparently this guy what was his deal um well okay S so this guy um is named uh no one run and y you yeah you fucking stay down there sunglasses um and this is david like whoa vega he started in 2006 after Academy of Art University SF Film School at the advent of the angry video game nerd era, uh, Nintendo nerd even, uh, doing comedic and critical video game reviews emulating his style. I quickly transitioned into GoldenEye stunts, uh, yada yada yada, the funding tape and blah 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 environmental issues yada yada and here we are now where you've got i swear by my soul that the male karen since 2010 video was supposed to be a vlog um over here he's got this one david vega biggest male karen of all time back to 2010 except for deep meaningful or romantic reasons my dad and I on Father's Day after the, the um, David Vega's male only fans like video making plan as a person quote unquote using M Town footage for temp FS ones, whatever this is. But it's fatherhood practice. That's cool. Uh, you might not be able to see it because of the bingo fatherhood practice. That's what that says. So we got some weird stuff going on here. Uh, some weird stuff. Let me grab a new bingo here. Um, we have a new bingo in town. Get yourself a new bingo in the bottom right on your bingo. Click new and get yourself a new bingo. This user. And uh, do we have fatherless activities? Because apparently there's fatherless activities happening. Yeah, I don't have fatherless activities on here. That's a shame. Um, yeah, no one run... Uh, I don't know who suggested this to me. Um, Deadwing Dork Bingo Free Square is hates on Ready Player One. Well, yeah, cause, cause fuck that movie and that book. The book's worse, but like, I mean, you know. Um, yeah. So I mean, I don't know what exactly happened. Apparently, four years ago, he was, he was just making like angry video game nerd sort of videos i guess i i would love to see some more of his videos in that style this is i guess another guy like game dude who went insane we're we're on more reviewer users tonight uh pow nes game review is this gonna be like took so long to get back to reviewing oh i'm sorry everybody i'm sorry i haven't made more videos lately sorry i haven't made videos in a while um but pow nes game review okay so he used to make like a avgn style game reviews and then some fucking 15 year period happened 
And now, uh, four years ago, he started making them again. And uh, nobody really watched them, but he's he's back and uh, didn't really get a great response. I wonder how this video is. Uninspired review. Oh, great. Okay, I do have the sound going. There just is none. There you go. Oh my god. Oh my god, Mark Anachronistic. Alright, so check it out. People are always coming up to me and they're all like, Hey, number one run, I like your reviews. I gotta see more of them. This is so 2007, it hurts. This is Armake 21. This is Stan Birdman. This is Ultra J-Man. This is Ultra J-Man getting slapped in his face by his mom while he plays Rayman Ultra J-Man. This is great. So what game are you gonna do next? And I'm sitting there thinking about it, and I'm all like, I don't know, man, a pal. And they're all like, oh, come on, man. I know you got some big idea in your mind. Now, what is it? And I'm all, yeah, I know. I got it already. Yeah, pow. And they're like, yeah, so what is it? And I'm like, kapow, kapow, kapow. And they're like, oh, because you did that whole pow block, and yeah, that's a really good one, really funny. But no, seriously, man, what are you gonna do next? And I'm like, dude, pow. And they're you know, all what's amazing is like, so I just named off a bunch of people who were AVGN era, you know, people that were also doing videos like that, that weren't as bad as Irate Gamer, but they were clearly like inspired by AVGN. They were much better. I remember I watched Stan Birdman, who apparently also went crazy he, like, had some kind of meltdown over, like, a woman and a bunch of people in his life, and there was some drama. I don't know. That was years ago. But uh, there were a bunch of them, like, Armake 21 or whatever, and it kind of... Uh, they were all pretty okay. But the funny thing is, like, I would watch them back in the day, and, and you know, that was back in, like, 2008, 2009. You didn't have a lot of options. You know, you watch your AVGNs. I think at the time I was watching some of the people like this, and I didn't even know about AVGN yet. Uh, but, you know, you watch stuff like this, and then you eventually, there weren't that many options out there, and especially not ones that were good, and so you'd eventually run out of people, like, re reviewing Bayou Billy or whatever. That was that would have been Spoonie that did that. Uh, but now it's like, this is from 2019? This is from the summer of 2019. This is from around roughly the same time I made my K video. Uh, and, and, and this guy made this, like, archaic, outdated video where he points a camera at his tube TV and talks about video games. And, like, I just feel like there's not, there's, there's a lot of other options now. Like, back in the day, you'd watch something like this and it'd be like, well, I have, I need to get more of my Angry Gamer AVGN fix. It's my favorite thing. And then, you know, you'd, wa you'd watch somebody like Stan Birdman because you, you didn't have a lot of options. You'd even... I watched Irate Gamer back in the day because I liked that style of video and you didn't have a lot of options. Nowadays, you got a lot of fucking people that yell at video games and, you know, just play them and talk about them. I don't know if... I don't know if we need you anymore, No One Run, but it's uh, admirable that you tried. Oh, like, yeah, I know, I heard you already, but I really want to know, what game are you doing next? And I'm like, dude, I just told you. Pow! And they're all like, yeah, I know, I get the joke. You throw the pow block and you say pow, ha ha ha, but what game- Wow, he's done this for over a minute now of him joking, this who's on first fucking bullshit. What game are you doing next? And I'm all, that's what I've been trying to tell you this whole time. The name of the game that I'm doing next is... Pow, yes I said pow, is an awesome game. Oh my god everybody, loud, loud noises, flashing lights, trigger warnings. Game. Pretty much anything you'd expect from a very good beat-em-up game. It is creative, it has variety, it has surprises. I mean, to be fair, you don't get AVGN videos like this anymore. If AVGN videos were still like this, then AVGN would be a lot better nowadays. But when you see somebody else who isn't James doing this, and it's... It looks like a video that he would have made in 2008. Oh, yeah, shit, I don't know about that. Those that you have to get used to. Bastard. A couple of gaming flaws that you also have to get used to. Oh, bastard. But the, is that him doing the? Oh, shitload of fuck! Is that him doing those noises? Gameplay is so good that it actually oh. makes me angry. Yes, angry at Double Dragon. Oh, there he is. He looks like 
he looks like he sells gold and gold accessories. Look at this. He, is, does he live in a fucking van? Oh, you bastard! What is this like coffin shaped like environment that he's he's found himself in? He's like this is like the shape of a coffin. It's like wider, but it's the shape of one. Uh, wh why are we? Where are we? Is he on the bottom bunk? And I even was... though you can just walk up and hit the enemies like in most beat 'em up games, the enemies are actually pretty intelligent. Year old just frat look boy. at their movements. And did I mention the music too? Oh my god, check that out! The oh music. My god. But the problem is that it all comes to a screeching halt in level two at one major game block, the level two boss. Don Johnson, is it? Oh, well, close enough. Yeah, yeah, the guy from Nash Bridges in Miami Vice, Don Johnson, that's who he is, Don jo <sighs> He's like making jokes, I guess, like, I don't know, how many... I mean, how many people are gonna know who Don Johnson is? I don't know who Don Johnson fucking is. And I'm old enough to have been around for the original era of this shit. He, I mean, it's probably a reference he gets, but he's not playing to his audience, probably. Johnson, that's a level two boss. Oh, here we go. But the problem with this guy is that you can't yeah. approach him from the front because he shoots oh, these bastard. spread shot bullets at you, oh, which get you multiple oh, times. And then you try to approach oh, him from the lower beneath, bastard. he drops these grenades for you. See, that time I just happened to jump diagonally through the bullets. But you can't get close. And look at the grenades, watch. See? You can't get a hit on them. You can't even get close to get a hit on them. And then there's the bullets. <sighs> yeah, it looks hard, dude. Um, so that's that's this one. Um, and yeah, he's he, he was... Uh, a guy who would review video games sometimes. He would do Double Dragon 3 by the Angry Nintendo Nerd r review. Wait, RE... Wait, the Angry Nintendo Nerd? Oh, it was locked away. This is from 2007. Is this other video also from 2007? Hang on. POW NES oh. Game Review. Is this from back in the day? E-Kit... No, I think this is just a 2007 video from him, or 2000, a 2019 video from this guy that just looks like it's from 2007. Uh, streaming, my streaming for no hit, no hit runs in stunts, real life goals, like this is what he's doing instead of playing old video games, real life goals like weight loss. He ripped his pants while he was doing this. That's cool. Okay. Well, that's like a new video, and you can see some of this shit looks crazy. Then you've got, like, I guess older videos? Yeah, this is a 2007 one. Okay. I'm so confused now, because we've got stuff like... This is all four parts of the Mickey Mousecapade review from 2007 under my former YouTube account, Undercover Filmer 0 v so I have to look that up now. Uh, that saved the life of former YouTube user ekit357. You can read all about that here. All right, well, just hold your horses here. Hold your horses. So he's got a WordPress. Yeah, he's got a WordPress here. Apparently in 2011, somebody sent him this message. Um... <sighs> Your reviews have more power and importance than you seem aware of, says Ekit. Uh, in 2007, I was going through a difficult period in my life, cutting myself, depressed. Uh, a person on you- oh my god. A person on YouTube named Big Al 2 k 6 gave a shout-out to someone called Undercover Filmer 0 v Fucking Big Al 2K6 came up in one of the Medicar videos. He knew Chibi. God damn it. This all goes back so many years. Um, he apparently made some of the best game reviews on YouTube. I was skeptical, but decided to give it a watch. I clicked the link and saw you review Mickey Mouse Capade. Uh, 
so yeah, apparently this saved my life. This this according to this guy. This is the this is the e kit thing here. And it's a message back when YouTube still had like a private message system. Your video uh, saved my life. You saved my life. You gave me the most important thing anyone could ever give, happiness. And for that, I'm forever grateful. I think, unfortunately, that may have gone to this guy's head because it's now uh, 2019 as of when this was posted. Uh, what, eight years after that? And he still holds on to that very dearly. I mean, it is nice to get a message like that. That's, that's good, but it's... Uh, it's uh it's quite a lot so undercover filmer double o v yeah no this guy has uh some other stuff on uh, dra double dragon another double dragon uh no okay most of it is actually just him all right and then there's and then there's this one here from this guy more of the double dragon review i guess yeah okay yeah okay and then you get, uh, and then you get his new stuff, which, as you can see here, is is kind of crazy. Um, Twitch highlight. I mean, I don't know what's going on here, but the thumbnails look insane. We got stuff. We got angry videos directed at judges. Look at these thumbnails. Um, if you provoke them, they will admit. Um, and I, I just don't know what to even click on or what is going on. He's got, like, text. He's got texts of his. Uh, uh, well, we'll do this four-hour one that looks like it's a rant about a judge. Okay. Hi, this is David Vega here. Uh, I did not intend for this to be a public video. I intended it, it to be an unlisted video. But the more I thought about it, uh, we're going to have to deal with issues that are worthy of uh, going public on anyways regarding the... Hell yeah, dude. Let's get this fucking... Let's get this shit platform. ...employment of Cisco and also EDD's misconduct. So I will spell them out from the top. This is going to be public because literally the button was pushed. And although I have a, an explanation, we don't know for sure. So I'm sorry about the publicness of it, but this is going to replace several things. This is going to replace a, uh, a petition to reopen a case that was dismissed for non-appearance. That is first. There are papers on my desk, three caught three. This is like if Yandere Dev grew up. Three piles. That's first. Petition on video, as well as reference to this video and what I'm going to send after this, as well as re the paperwork that was already sent in. Oh boy, this guy's nutty. To reopen an appeals case, an EDD case, uh, that non-appearance. We are also going, the second pile, that's going to take the least time. The second least time and the main reason we're here, which means mandatory viewing, the rest of that will save us time, depends if you want to save time, is to literally read... And Public documentation of undue hardship, everybody. And I will show censored copies of everything, but this especially. Uh, the letter petitioning for a reopening of the case. I guess the user today, is this like his ex-wife or something? Who Who is he user ranting on? Days after I missed the hearing and all the related documents, which are actually easier displayed on video than by paper, they were already sent. We will show the proof that it was sent and literally dropped in the mailbox. We will read everything for all the public to see. We'll put it all out there, why David missed, make a rock solid case for how David was Mr. Responsible and already took this into consideration before he received this today. Then, this is what's going to take the most time. I don't really have to do this, but uh -huh. if I do it now, it probably saves us a hearing altogether. Or if we hearing, do have that hearing, uh -huh. we just talk about the video and what's on the video right here. So we're going to go over. Oh, this is like a, the type of person who would represent himself in court, isn't it? This is the type of person who would do that. It seems like uh, it seems like if he was given the opportunity, that's probably what he would do. Uh, this this reeks of like, I'm going to lay out my super well thought out reasoning why I'm not a criminal or something. And I learned all about it online and on Wikipedia and Black's Law Dictionary. And it taught me everything I needed to know. The whole case, the EDD denial, uh, their psycho behavior, not just the psycho behavior of asking for the results of what was already petitioned for appeal before it even got to the judge. We're going to go over their psycho behavior regarding especially Cisco, but... It, all the way back, all the way back, because it's in here. It's all in here. It's you. This is your, your copies, the court's copies of what they sent me. Oh, yeah, do smug. 
Yeah, he made a YouTube video instead of, like, I guess filing any of this as a real lawsuit or whatever. Whatever this is supposed to be, he just made a YouTube video instead. I, I like the, the idea of, like, no, no, just refer to the YouTube video, Your Honor. It's all in there. It's all in there. It's at hour two, minute 35. It's go Please show the footage. Not my original. So I'm reading just from what the court acknowledged. So it's all in black and white. Yeah. We're going to go over all that. And the way we're going to do it is if we, we're going to try not to hold stuff up to the camera because that's the hardest way to censor stuff. We're going to take stuff that can already be verified in paper form that you already have. Well, I mean, I still have no idea who this user rant is on. I think it might be, it says to the judge here. But, like, is that to the judge regarding this other person? Or is it, like, fuck this judge and fuck this court and all that it stands for kind of thing? Like, this this judge is bad and I'm going to make a user rant that's four hours long about this judge? Or is it, like, hey, don't believe my ex-wife's lies. This is why she's bullshit. Four hours of yapping is why she's bullshit. We'll have, in the case of me needing to resend stuff... We're going to go by my original computer copies, which are the same. They can be verified for accuracy later, but we're going to show stuff that's easier to censor there rather than hold stuff up. So I'm going to try to avoid that. So that's what we're here for. This should be a big, long, long video. The running time should be big and long, and that's unfortunate, but we're going to deal with immediate, second immediate, and then replacement for literally anything that can be said over the... Over the uh, okay, all right. No, I mean, but we have to actually get into... Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah, no, but we are going to get into it here, I guess. So just fucking buckle in, everybody. Phone hearing. Just, and because it's socially relevant, you will see this as Socially we go. relevant. So the immediate reason we're here is because there's a case number 74 Four seven zero. Okay. So the immediate reason we're here. All right. Now hang on. Now. No, hang on. Now. Six sir. one. <sighs> Unemployment insurance appeals board. Uh huh. That decision dismissing appeal for non appearance. It was a phone. The yeah. It was a phone conversation that was supposed to take place on 905 2000 I mean like he is just showing all of his own fucking documents on the video here 23 and it says i have rights to reopen this uh and it also has a form the spanish is front the english is back uh yes it says i can disagree with the administrative law uh judge's decision because and i mean this is just 4 hours of this is this like the fucking video that Oh, there, oh no, what is this? Like, I mean, at this point, I don't care if there's any docs on here. It's in his video. It's like, fucking, don't put it in your video then, forehead. My dad's color ink ran out, so you won't see the intended color on these copies. To correct this. So this is, I believe, the corrected version. If you look at the timeline, I'm going to show the, the, the clip, Ben. Why are memes involved? Why is there a bottom text happening in this video to the judge? Um, you know, anyways, dealing with... Oh, uh, he's getting real sweaty here. I'm going to cut the camera now, put it on my machine, check it, make sure it's right. And then we're going to go over the entire case, both cases, since they're related, of what happened with Cisco. Affair apparently... We're going to read, we're going to see what happened. If I have to omit stuff, uh, all of this I have on the on the computer. And if I don't, I'll get yeah. photocopies. Yeah, I we're, we're mad at Cisco. This is this is a this is Bajoran law, basically. Well, it's easier to censor on the computer than it here. I will read through it. And if I read anything accidentally that needs censoring, I'll just audio drop it. It's I mean, you fucking you need to censor all of this. You shouldn't be putting any of this on the Internet. Really. Easy, no problem. This is actually way more important, way more effective than a telephone hearing or even in person hearing. We're putting this all. He is so sweaty. I know you can't see it because like at any moment out here, we're going to stop this. Mess He's like dripping with sweat way more effective than a telephone hearing or even in-person hearing we're putting this all out here we're gonna stop this mechanism we're literally people who care about everything they do in life person company doesn't matter it comes from the same place inside and it does not work how these places think it does oh i would fucking pay money to see him in court representing himself in some fashion i i would prefer that if it that it didn't involve anybody being hurt or killed but like just something like Whatever thing, just get him in court so that he can represent himself and 
and try to make sense of what's happening because I feel like he's living in another reality. All these, only the elite people. I have records of this on my computer of elite people, millions and billionaires who understand passion for real. Uh, I have them, it was going to be dealt with in Tesla. They know how passion works. But none of these places, even one who like Tesla, who is run by Elon Musk, who would literally be on my side with everything based on some of the stuff he comes out with. Elon Musk, right. Don't, Elon don't... Musk would be on his side. That should that should convince us. Okay. Uh, what happens here at this random part of the video? Um... Oh, okay. We've got... It's only for any honorary people whose first names begin with C, including Chloe Vega, who I'm actually expecting to marry for real deal. And shame on you if you get that C reference because you know too goddamned much. Oh yeah, no, put this in front of normal people, dude. They're gonna love it. I, I just would love to see normal people like a judge and a jury of your peers looking at this and trying to come to a decision. This is, uh, this man needs to calm down. For reals, though, with the thangs, even. Okay, so we are back. The hour has been recorded and put on the machine, so it's just waiting editing. I still have not, I've seen, I've seen myself speak. Have not seen the final version that you're seeing, probably, because that's after it. That's after editing. <laughs> okay, so. Now that we come- Alright, enough with the fucking hat. The hat was limp- the hat was inhibiting my charisma. I have to be serious business about this here. Heard both the notice, as well as the letter that was already written that did not need the notice. We are ready to go over the case in details. Now, although my intent was just to get the hearing, the case to be reopened and such for reasons explained, I'm gonna go and just see if I can save some time in advance and go over the entire details of the case uh, to potentially replace. Got like vaguely George Costanzian posture right now, like the the movements he's making. I could, I could see it. I could see it. Place either an in person or telephone hearing. Um, that way, if we do have that hearing, anyways, we can discuss the exact details of what happened. They're probably going to ask based on their concerns here in the nose today. The exact same things that have already been covered. So let's cover them all and remember... Let's cover them all again anyway. All right, cool. And wanted to... Uh, she she was pissed off that Samantha turned down a video opportunity for money. She wanted to do more projects and then she, she flips and stuff at the time. So I made an intro and I made a... Uh, okay, so this is... Oh, here... PSA on the Vitor Pitor problem. This is his fucking... This is his thing again. So, okay, this is but one of the many, many videos by this guy. This is from three months ago. We've got David Vega's 41st birthday video dedicated to Caitlin Francis, the 2012 Mystical Ninja Boss, boss Rush. What? What? He's turning 41 as of 9-25-23. We just discovered last year that this trend that we all thought started in 2010 with at HOF FS1 of him giving other people gifts shortly before or on his own birthday actually started earlier in the dude only era and many times unnoticed dude friendships only oh oh dude only Dudes and special dude friendships were in his life and honored in video. No women yet. Ah, I see. Well, it's good to keep them separated. You know, um, schizo posting, but autistic. Well, I feel like we've seen that before. Insanity problems? Yeah, you can mark that down. I'm gonna put incoherent. What cool song is this? Let's show the exact moment of realization a mere mo months a mere months ago, leading into a mass fire starter. Introed bunch of dudes projects going up, where this realization was finally discovered at age forty. Uh, I don't know what you're saying, sir. Sir. 
We speak English here, okay? Is this like WWE music? Okay. Oh, there we go. September 22nd. Yes, my birthday's on the 25th. This was shortly before my birthday, which means because this was originally a wrestling video, and also continuing in the tradition of water fights, that's from my childhood. Uh, and because their interest is wrestling and I got into it totally for them. Oh, this is fa It's fascinating to find one who's just completely off the fucking rails, but sounds reasonably like a normal person. I mean, like the... The words he's saying sound like normal people words. He doesn't sound like he's not mumbling. He's not screaming and raving. He articulates like a hu like a normal human being, but he's completely insane. Just completely insane. This was our very first, not, like, none of this yeah, makes sense. That shows you all the focal uh, the focal lengths and the uh, auto white balance. This means that the yeah. Uh, this is directly from the camera, they're directly- Oh yeah, no, I mean, someone in chat points it out, and I've said it before, like, it's it's worth noting that when you watch something like this, as as confused as we all are, this is- this makes perfect sense to him. To him, this is explaining everything in very clear detail, and whatever point he's trying to get out, whatever thing he wants us to feel while watching this, is like very easily like word for word just that's it's 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 con it's a confusing mess why we why we can't understand it because he's he he's laid out it all, the whole thing very clearly here really yes this is as original as it gets that's the time that's a date and this was this was the first time at least that we recognized because now that we know childhood stuff with that karate thing could happen without me even remembering it this is the first time david shortly before his own birthday gave away a gift to somebody else. So this guy's name is David, and he's referring to himself here in third person, I guess? I would assume that he's not talking about another person named David. I'm assuming that he just refers to himself in third person. That's delightful. We need more of that, really. Uh, in this case, dudes. Yeah, no women yet. Dudes got the first big one. Yes, without even dudes got the big one. Realizing it, because we forgot about that when women came along. We just forgot about that. That all the same stuff that I later in in yeah, life, insane recording really method. Like reflected at least, if not done outright like this. One. Yeah, I don't know about the childhood karate thing that happened that he doesn't remember or whatever that was. He said something about that. That yeah. Uh, no, I don't have insane recording. That's a shame. That's a shame. One, four dudes. Four yeah, dudes. dudes at once? Dudes were the first FS1 in David life. Just not like, you know, romantic. Just homage and like close friends, right? So temporary, no, not temporary, because this is multi-year. Multi Yo, Big Jack Films is, is happy with the chat. Yay. Uh, he says that we rock. Guys, pat yourself on the back. We rock. My year dude homage. Well, I'll say you rock, Big Jack Films. <laughs> Holy shitter. All right, let's, let's show you the original project now. That's enough. We got it. We see as how long as you're not as insane as this guy. Um, so I don't know what's going on there. Here's a 33-minute video about Kaylin Wayne Vega joining chat. Comments in... What? Oh, boy. Oh boy. Let's see if we can do Let's see if we can do Let's see if we can do chat? So this is like a hockey video game that he... Oh, he's named all of his... Oh dear, uh-oh. He's named everybody on his team after, like, people in his life. I think they're probably all women. And like Chloe Vega, Kaylin Vega, these are all people that he swears he'll marry someday, I guess. Chloe Vega was one that he swore he'd marry someday. And then we've got FS1. I still don't know what that means. That's some that means something to him. FS1, whatever that is. All these other names here. And he's talking about the stats of these females in his life in the chat here. <laughs> Kaylin Vega 20 is there. Wait, no, hang on. 
So that's a real person. That's a mod in his chat. Is that him? Is that just him with a fake account? Or is there, because his name is David Vega, so it does, maybe it's a real person in his life. Maybe it's like his daughter or something. Oh, I have no idea what's going on, man. One goal per person. So look at the number to the right of everyone's name oh god oh, i'm done with this video jesus christ is he in toronto is this guy also in toronto no come on no he was in california before he was in california why does this say toronto oh jesus christ <sighs> barry bonds day video barry bonds day Emotional, wait, r romance scams and why the emotional toll is worse even when, oh, this is something, dude. The dudes came first. Don't anyone ever forget that. Dudes all came first. The dudes came first. Um, and then these are, these are more weird texts with like, Okay, I need to know about FS1. There's like these women who he's really into that he's calling FS1. Um, so, Maria Cruz's demonstration video. This is Edmonton Oilers. What is this? Okay. Why is this four hours long? What the fuck is this? Okay, so this is a... If you are being linked to this video right now, you are either on my team and will be linked to either the parts you are talked about or told to watch the whole thing, or the third part mostly is relevant for some reason involving understanding David like whoa Vega as a legitimate talent, not worker, from this point forward in life, and this is the whole world's official notice. This video is absolutely mandatory for me as a person, my future, my safety, my agency, and oh, it just happens to be the best project I've made since the life-saving Mickey Mouse. Oh my god. Remember, guys, remember, Herbie Hops is saving lives. He's changing people's lives by delivering DoorDash, everyone. You don't understand. So he made a Mickey Mouse Capade review and saved someone's life, I guess. That was the worst mistake that guy ever did, telling telling this dude that his his review of Miss Mickey Mouse Capade saved his life. Now this dude's got a complex. Only it was two weeks of blistering speed editing rather than a full ba a balanced full production. So I got to get back to basics, what I was trained to do in every way. Film, argument, teaching, parenting, commentator analysis, Christian, just the whole package of me being reintroduced to the world for who I really am and what and who I really fight for and believe in. This is going to go into how COVID isn't real, isn't it? All right. The video right now that we're making uh, midway through Maria Cruz's demonstration video. Uh, this was not planned, but I saw a need to do this during her season. Let me explain. So if you're watching this now, the video is probably split into three parts. The first part will deal, deal with, dem with updates to her demonstration video. The second part will be on the Edmonton Oilers specifically in NHL 99. And the last part, I may uh, recap what my stunt is rather than, uh, and also go over my new team rosters, which I hope to, to do with the first Twitch uh, stunt, the third season. We're still working on second season, but when we get done with that- Look everybody, these are time codes. Instead of linking the times in the thing like a normal person, <coughs> he wants you to like copy this into your fucking address bar. And add this to the fucking address. To get to the time for all of these things that he has listed here. David Vega's body count over here. Why all potential FS1s are important. I gotta know about FS1s, man. I hope to take these new update rosters Why are we slow? in the third season. <laughs> Why are we slow? So that should be the general structure of this video that you're now watching. You saw that, right? It slowed itself down somehow and then I had to speed it up. And then speed it back down to where it already was so that it could be back to the normal speed that it already fucking what? What the fuck was that? 
So let's start out with the first part of this video. Um, so let me cover, we're on. Uh, you're, let, let me know when you want to face the camera, by the way. Uh, so we're covering, well, let me cover first off what a demonstration video is. So I have a stunt. Maria Cruz Gonzalez, a field hockey player. I mean, I would highly doubt that he, I mean, she seems to be in this video. It sounds like there's another person in the video with him. So I would assume it's somebody that he actually knows and it has there. Called NHL 99. What I do is I play a whole season of NHL 99 in all-star mode, the greatest difficulty. But not only that, uh, with broadcast angle, which is not the default view, which is up and down, broadcast is side to side, just like you see it on a television when you're watching. Okay, I'm following so far. So he plays this old hockey game, but makes it look like it's... That's how I played those old hockey games, too, when I played them, was to do the TV angle. That's, that's the best way. Uh, uh, okay. I understand. I understand that much, but what the fuck does that have to do with FS1s and and Chloe Vega? Watching an actual hockey game. It's just it's harder to play with like that, but we do it so it emulates an actual hockey game on TV. Um, also, every game we put the advantage meter three ticks, which is maximum, above us every game. We have a custom uh, team with people who are special in my life. Back in the day, it was ah, people who are special in my life, neighborhood friends and people like that. It evolved over time. Certain people, online personalities like through Facebook and such came into my life. We put them on the team. Recently, it became work people codenamed while at work, but not anymore, depending on the person. Uh, but the most recent development is that it's full of Vega girls. That's a difference. Ah, Vega girls. Ah. That's that's quite a development right there. Yeah, um, you know, it used to be people on my in my fucking knitting class and uh, some some people I had made previously in my Tomodachi life, but but now it's uh, it's my Vega girls. Right, right. Obviously, yeah. Subject matter. We'll get to that later. Uh, but I like our team. Vega the way it girl is. situation. That's why we're doing part three of this. But bottom line, that's the stun idea. I used to switch stream for Twitch. I will again now, especially. I'm going to again for the third season where we go through a whole season, 82 games, and try to win all the end of season awards. Uh, the playoff games are 16 games minimum. Uh, if you lose games, you I play love how much F, like, th what makes this funny to me, and if for anybody, like, uh, I'll look inside my mind when I watch a video like this. What makes this fascinating to me and, and funny? Just like in, there's an inherent funniness, there's an inherent comedy to what we're watching here. As he details in like extreme, you know, extreme like specific detail, he, he's he's outlining the, uh, the, the, the hockey game that he plays and what mode he plays on and what camera view he uses and how many games he'll play and what the rules will be and also the team is made up of vega girls and don't ask what that means and um also it'll be played on my real n64 and it'll be played on the pal version actually like it's just all this detail that doesn't matter for things that aren't really relevant to why i'm actually here which is the vega girls i want to know more about the vega girls he has said so little about the vega girls and mostly he's just been talking about this fucking hockey game from 1999. More games, obviously. Uh, the playoffs, you go through the playoffs. At the end of season, you try to win all the awards. Okay? So that's what the stunt is about. We'll get into later. There's actually a specific challenge that's harder. There's one award that's harder than all, all of them. It's a goaltending award. Not relevant right now. We'll get to it later. Bottom line is, uh, what I do from that idea, right? Uh, once in a while, I do what's called a demonstration video. Okay? The stunt is designed so that uh, the people of all the people in my life, the line one right wing, which which who plays next to me on the top line. Oh, that kind of right wing. OK. All right. I, I, I assume this is going to get political at some point, but is know. reserved for whoever I'm currently in a relationship with or if it's a demonstration uh, who like wants to see what it would be like if she was the mother of my kids. Uh, OK, wacko. 
I don't want to smother you, just want you to be the mother of my hockey team right wing. Uh, just, you know, just a little bit of what would she be, what would it be like if she was my, my baby mama a little bit, you know, just a little, just a little, it's just, it's nothing weird about that. So these are your Vega girls, huh? Goddess, all that stuff. Goddess, we go, let's um, just go back a little, hang on. Is reserved for whoever I'm currently in a relationship with, or if it's a demonstration, uh, who like wants to see what it would be like if she was the mother of my kids, goddess, all that stuff someday. And I do that, put them in the game as a demonstration. And I do the whole season, make something of it to their goal celebration song. Uh, which, by the way, everyone has their own individual. What? Uh, yeah, no, how does that happen in NHL 99 for the Nintendo 64 or whatever? I mean, I don't I don't want to assume what, what console he's playing on, but, you know, maybe it's the PC version. How, I don't know how this is going to <clears throat> really do anything to, to prove that or... Or, or measure that in any way by any by any metric really I don't that's um a goal okay. celebration song right when they score that's what it's all about sort of like you know celebrating people as people <laughs> but the line one right wing is we, what we call the goddess position there have been various people over time uh however the current one is Maria Cruz who at, at present is like a kid <laughs> to me but you know she's still uh well you never see it come back. You see that my money is the best for right. Well, you know, people were talking about how the Sangi should probably make an appearance at some point, and now he's here. Maria Cruz is like a kid to me, but also my goddess who I would like to be the mother of my children. Hey, Big Jack Films, I hope you're enjoying your first stream here, buddy. This is, uh... Your videos were like a real fre a real wholesome breath of fresh air in this in this putrid abyss in which we live. So thank you for that once again. Sort of eligible, just it's different. Let's go back and just do this all over again. Hang on. That's what it's all about. Sort of like, you know, celebrating people as people. But the line one right wing is we, what we call the goddess position. There have been various people goddess over time. Goddess position. Uh, however, the current one is Maria Cruz, who at, at present is like a kid to me, but you know she's still sort of eligible. Just mm -hmm. it's different, right? We get yeah, that. still eligible. It's just a demonstration, different. so it don't matter. Okay, so let's go over the history of demonstration. It's just a demonstration, bro. It's just a cartoon. It's it's fine. Um, so uh, not beefing with a child. Uh, not not wish they were a kid again. Not YouTube kids. Not adult child friendship. God damn it, this is just tap dancing around pedophilia in every potential way. This sucks. I have so many spots for pedophilia and none of them fit. Here, because this actually started Ironically. The first demonstration around 2016, believe it or not, we didn't call it that back then. And it wasn't associated with mother my kid type of thing. No, it was actually for a guy, not joke. I just if I if I if I stop focusing so, like super intently on what he's saying, I kind of stop getting what he's sa saying. Like it's you have to pay a lot of attention. Eligible, just it's different, right? It's different. She's just a kid. She's a kid to me, but she's it's different. We get that. It's just a demonstration, so it don't matter. Okay, so let's go over the history of demonstrations here, because this right. actually started a long time ago. The first demonstration around 2016, believe it or not, we didn't call it that back then. And it wasn't associated with mother my kid type of thing. No. I, I, I guess I did get everything that he said there. It's just so back, it's just so bat shit. Why is he like in the fucking like laundry room? There's just a hundred cleaning products and he's sitting here in his fucking 1970s Barca lounger. It was actually for a guy, not joking. So, so, so... There's inherently, there's some jokes to be made here <laughs> about him and his list of women that he wanted to bang, formerly being a list of something to do with a guy. It, tell me more. How, and did you get to fuck him? Sean White, who is actually a lifer on my team, which means he never be, he's never removed, no matter what. Yeah, is that a Chris Chan medallion? Even if a girl comes along and wants to take his place, I invoke the bros before hose rule. Right, right. We know that one, right. Bros <laughs> Maria <laughs> Maria's laughing right now. So Is she? <laughs> Sean White's a lifer. Now he is not Is she laughing? Is she real? Do do you see Maria when you go out when you close your eyes or like the snowboarder. 
Here's his story. Let me tell the story. This is actually important to give him an idea of the special people. Uh, it's Sean, special people, right? Sean White, I knew in, in like third... This is Sean White, everybody. The guy whose teeth are trying to escape from his face. Grade, around, fourth grade, around about. He was a, uh, a friend. A friend in grade school. Yeah, do creepy laughter. So this guy, um, I mean, I don't know. It's yet to be determined. I mean, Kaylin appears to be a real person that was posting in his chat on Twitch. So I guess Maria might also be real. Maybe he just has a fucking harem of bitches. Maybe he's got the Vega girls and we all just need to fucking sh shut it and stuff it. All right. You know, uh, I had another friend who I know since first grade named Cameron. I'm not, not going to say his last name because he's not going to want to be outed like this for what he means to me now. His name was Cameron, right? That's a typical best friend name, right? Here's the thing. <laughs> he was one of four kids. They are Mormon. Four boys. He used to come over to my my place to play video games all the time. He liked the escape from his four bro his three brothers. By the way, Big Jack Films, I'm just warning you, the first stream we were probably a little more negative than we are now. It took us a bit to come around to what we were what we were seeing there. So if you do want if you do wind up watching the first stream, just know that I might call you a cuck at some point in time. I'm not sure. I don't remember what was said. But I think I was generally, uh, I mean, I was having a good time. That's the important thing. I was having a good time. And play, play video games with me, right? I didn't question it because I liked having a two-player. I'm an only child. When, I can tell. When I went to his place, I got to be around his boys. Yes, they had fights and stuff like normal kids. He didn't like it. I loved it because I love to be around people. He came to my place to get away from his situation. I went to his place to get away from mine, right? Mm -hmm. Good, you know, it, it worked, right? Here's the thing. He came to my place way more than I went to his place. That, there's a reason for that. My, my parents tend to think he used me to play video games. I didn't care, right? Uh, after a while, I don't want to get... Why are we hearing about you having... What? ...in the situation, but... Well, this is Sean White, I guess. Know, as an adult, I don't want to get into the situation, but he, he showed... He talked to me in a certain situation when he should be there for me about what he really thought of me, and it was bad. When I got out of that situation, Maria, I don't know if I cover this. I'll cover this later in private. It was bad. Okay. Well, did this guy was like he like a pity friend for this kid when when this guy when he was a kid, I guess. He tried to meet with me again. I said, "Oh no, you were you had bad things to say when I was at my lowest." Uh, you don't get to be here no more. You're not welcome here no more. And now you're getting some deep philosophical quotes here. So he he's gone. But the whole time we were in grade school, some real sage wisdom right there. School, I pushed Sean aside for Cameron. Big mistake. Why? Here's Sean's situation. He was a poor kid. He had like a younger brother and an older brother. He worked as a miner to help his family get by at a car shop in like Fremont or someplace. They offered me a job, but my mom didn't want me to go. I wanted to take it because it I, was... I like, I want to know what's happening in the lore, but I don't think I'm going to find out what's happening. But here's Maria. Is this her? Is she real? Is this... Oh my God, she's yes. real. Cause it... Who is this woman? Who is trolling this man and pretending that they're his his Vega girls? What is happening? At least you can look back and say, hey, in at least some form, it may be fantasy, not reality, but at least in some form, you beat Wayne Gretzky. Yes. Yeah. All right. So anything else? Oh, this is un this is uncomfortable. To say before I continue. Wait, no, he's kind. Of, I think he's faking this phone camera though. Like he's faking. Um, I'm almost done with the, I pretty much explained no I mean it's real it, it was like a little awkwardly edited there the first but... part of this video all that's left is to go over like the next part what do you think I think that um, this lady seems appropriately disinterested when it's over it's gonna be a celebration oh yeah yeah do you and like and it's like a life accomplishment yeah. even if it's like you know not in real life it yeah. is an accomplishment i mean there's no way she doesn't know that he's interested in her single girl situation her vega girl situation there's no way that she doesn't know that i mean he has to have let it slide i can't imagine he's exactly king cool here he's probably let it slip by now 
in some way. By the way, uh, do you like your goal song, or do you think that maybe Single in the future, um, if I can afford another thousand, you might want to work with Wildfire to sing you uh, original song? No, I would no. not like to work with Wildfire. Oh, sorry. yeah, okay. That's fine. Uh, it's, it's okay, because I have to save up another thousand. They're already busy, but, like, it's possible if you want an original. That's okay, though. No, I don't want, I don't want Wildfire. Okay, so you want to keep your current song forever, basically? Save up another thousand. Are, is he being scammed? Is that what this is? He must he must be getting scammed. Save up another thousand. Unless he's talking about like fucking video game money or something. Like he Who would be sitting here list letting him talk to them about NHL ninety nine? Like this isn't an, an attractive young woman. She what reason would anybody have to sit here and spend time with this man. I, I, I'm i just, I just don't know. Yes. Oh, that's perfect. Okay, I just wasn't sure if you were satisfied with or it. Or I would want to change it, but I would have to think of a song I would like to change it to. Do you know, like, a genre genre you like rather than country, possibly? Like, I don't know what what's your favorite type. Rock, rock rap, what's the deal? Like, pop, maybe? Oh, pop, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. So is she, yeah, she, she might be scamming this guy. Yeah. So now I'm going to have yeah. to ask Wildfire if they know some pop artists that they can refer no, me to. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're country. That's the problem. See, he's, the, pro the problem yeah. is not just that. I mean, he's 40 and she looks like she's like in her like early 20s or something, if that. Uh, uh, was there a stream for the Red Ready Player? Oh, that, well, that one, we only saw part one of the Ready Player One video, uh, Jack. We only saw part one of it. Uh, we're gonna watch. I guess we'll just watch the rest of the the skit only part because that was the that was the really good stuff. Uh, no offense to your re reviewing stuff, but what we were there for was definitely the skits. Uh, that was the last stream I did. I don't know if there's a. Uh, I I don't know how to uh, the, li like link it to you. I mean, I'll probably put it up or something. It's 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 available. I'm sure somebody has a link to it. I'm sure you can find it. Uh, I could, I could unlist it, I guess, I could, I guess I could relist it, potentially. Uh, maybe I should, because that was quite a, that was quite a discovery, frankly. Maybe I'll just put that one public tomorrow or something, I don't know, but. Um, is this the romance scams he mentioned on his channel earlier? He, it, this might be. It might be, he did mention being scammed, so maybe, yeah. It's the fact that, like, country is not typically energetic, so it might be a challenge given the genre to have it. You, you know what I'm saying, right? So she's like bored and unin. Oh God. What? What? The fuck is this time cube bullshit? What the fuck is this insane time cube bullshit? So let me think. Is there anything else? Do you have any ideas of what I could cover before I go on to Edmonton? The second part of this video. How do you feel about beating the record? Oh, about you beating the record? This is literally how hard it is to get David Vega to care about himself. You'll get this later on in this video, but tab this completely naturally natural movement in your mind as proof of what will be explained later. David doesn't even understand the concept of him playing the game because it's for someone else such that only they matter and they... And they responsible, not him. He's literally playing the game for her, but in his mind, she doing it. This is 100% natural, not made up, and yet very revealing. Everybody remember this moment for later. How about you? I, I will never forget this moment, my friend. You want me to beat a record? No, I said, how do you feel? About you beating the record? About you beating the record? Okay, it's your Edmonton is in Canada, but he's been saying that he's from California. He's been talking about California. Edmonton, I assume he means the Oilers. Like he talked about Wayne Gretzky and shit, so I assume he means like the N the NHL ninety nine team video game Edmonton Oilers. Uh, but he also did have a a a thumbnail that involved the Toronto sign, so. I mean, maybe he's traveled, but I'm pretty sure he's from the states. Record, you're, you're the, the one who's actually doing it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. So I... Don't don't mark down Canadian if he's not a fucking if he's not a 
P Poutine chomping hose or like Big Jack there. It has the player and and myself. Right. Um. Yeah. Hmm. It's 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 interesting. Oh, I I don't know. Um. I'm actually amazed at how I've been able to do this far because, like I said, you're coming from the right side. You're a right-hander. There are some times where if you cut across to the left side and come back the way you came, we're going to get hit by big hitters, right? Yeah, somebody's like, she hates this man. She's This guy's not well. She's being taken. He's being taken for a ride. I mean, it clearly seems that way. This is from a couple years ago. Uh, and then there's no comments. There's a bunch of music here. Yeah, no. I mean, obviously she knows how he feels. Angela Vega, Karen Vega, Teresa Vega, Cynthia Vega, uh, Daniel Tysonator, and then Wildfire are here. This is the ones that the lady said she didn't want Wildfire involved or something. So maybe they're like competing scammers. Maybe this is like when the granny Kit Boga character gets like two scammers on the line and they're like, no, no, ma'am, no, no, he is the scammer, ma'am. No, do not connect me to the other line, ma'am, no. And then, you know, it just devolves into a hey, mother toad. You know, maybe that's what's happening here. These ladies are like Mexican or something, though, so I don't know adjust the slang accordingly i guess but that's typically what's happened in the past when i try that there's sometimes we come around the side the other side of the net from the left side uh that's also unless it's a power play and they're like passive oh god guys it's a hundred percent legal proof too keep in mind this is probably part of his insane youtube legal video he also has to be convinced that he is playing the game too and that it is his also his record he does, his mind does not comprehend this on his own. This is 100% legal. Per I don't even know. I mean, like, I just don't even know the subject that he's getting at. You know what I mean? Like, we have all these words and I just don't even know what it's trying to, like, allude to at all. What it's even discussing. The game? Like, the game of dating? The, the, the hockey game? Playing the game for her, but in his mind, she doing it. I I don't I don't know. I assume it means the hockey game. And then we got more videos of this. These are all the same video, right? These are all the same video, but different parts of it here. Uh. No. Also, does not like Fuego. Fuego uh, is avoiding Luchando. In. Uh. Too bad. Put up with it. Because basically, the reason Luchando is even on the team is because of one thing. She's a one and done Uh She did one thing great in front of Fuego one day that I will always remember my whole life. I'm not going to get on it because I told her this. She would identify. She sucked my dick once when I was 21 years old and we haven't spoken since. And that's why she's on my team. By herself, if I went over the same story, may come up later. Don't know. Uh, here's the thing. Because of that reason, she's on the team. She's a... She's not a lifer. She just we have problems right now. We're probably always gonna have problems after what. Oh yeah, this video is not three hours long, chat member. It's just not shy of four hours long. Why? Why do you have issues with that? Is that a problem for you? What's going on in this one? This is another random clip here. Okay, well, this is from Teresa to him. Okay, well, since not moving, no problem. But you have to know you didn't give me moving money instead of giving. A, oh yeah, this is a scam. Instead of giving others, I told you to give me, and then guess what? They didn't show up. If I'm the one paid, I can swear I would have been with you by now. And then he responds, You don't understand. There's nothing about you that stands out from the others. <laughs> yeah, you're just a throwaway. You're just another set of holes that can cook me meals, bitch. <laughs> There's nothing about you that differentiates you. Oh, I don't know. I guess you got different hair or something. Whatever. Um, so blah, blah, blah. Not. Even if you did show up, one person is going to take away from me and Maria's wants to make it worth it. And right now we don't know the seriousness. Um, Stella is getting the same lecture, only she was never paid anything. She's giving lectures to these women. The Vega girls, everybody.
Okay, play the video. Come on. Uh, I'm not sure if Karen's on there. She might be there. She might not be. Either way, uh, Karen is not really... She didn't do anything wrong. She's a one-and-done type. She did one good thing, and that's it. Well, not really one good thing. We have a story on her. It's actually kind of funny, not really good. She's a trooper. She's a trooper for being independent, uh, messing up in the same way Stella did, but not as severe. She lied about her identity. The problem is she lied uh, down. She didn't lie up. She pretended to be one person, but then when I caught her in a lie, oh she... Ah, uh, I see. Ah, <laughs> uh, jeez, yeah. So this is, no, this is, um... God, who, it's not, is it like Chris Chan? It is, it is, it's Chris Chan. It's, it's Chris Chan Love Quest shit. It's that classic, like... Mm, this new girl says she wants to be with me and and love me forever and uh but she can't because her her boyfriend who loves boats is 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 gonna get in the way or, or like whatever <laughs> i think that was the, her dad it was lars uh who, who loved boats um it, this is this is i mean I think it's more just to get money out of him. Where did he get all this money, though, to be scammed by these women? Showed her actual self, what I believe. She's actually more attractive in my eyes than the person she lied about, which makes her stupid. It's fine. I'll take that stupidity. It's funny stupidity. But, oh, my God. I always tell her... Man, it's, it's going to get real easy to just make images like this in AI now and just f fucking... You just have infinite scam... Just infinite scam. Hey, honey, look at me and my real, like, dating profile. B buy me jewels. Buy me Bitcoin. We're gonna moon. You put her and Mariah Carey side by side, I'd take Karen over Mariah Carey. Yes, I would. Not joking. So that that gives you an idea. Of, so she means something to me, but not- So in other words, you got scammed and you still wish that the scam was real, I guess? Is that what's happening? Maybe this, maybe he thinks that she's real. Maybe he still thinks she's real. Uh, okay, this is another woman that was named on the thing. Um, in this, in this timestamp. Teresa here. and Cynthia, at the time? Actually, wait. Oh, you know what? Cynthia is actually on the team. She scored a goal. Yeah. Thank God, Cynthia. This is what I'm actually looking at. It was printed out after Teresa and Cynthia fucked up. But removed, or but before Stella got removed, I printed out the wrong roster for this video. Two things this demonstrates. One, how utterly unprepared I was because this video had to be immediately made. Two, my point on how people need to stop fucking up! She scored a goal in this video, so she's on the team. Uh, this is actually false. It is false, yes. I think it's Angela. I think Angela is off, Cynthia is still on there. I have to check that. I have to check our rosters. Okay, bottom line. That slut, Angela. Uh, so, Teresa fucked up so many times, she's not on the team. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, is this the wrong one? Oh, you know what? Oh, fucking shit. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, the one I haven't- Alright, everything's back to normal here. We're, we're good. What's, what about this one? Didn't work. Cynthia, take it! Got it! Yes! I just think it's very special that what we're watching right now, like, put it into perspective. Like, it, it all kind of runs together when you see as many crazy people as we do if you're a frequent watcher of the stream. But, like, just taken on its own, this is, like, something that you could all, you could just make a video, a huge four-hour video about this guy. This guy who is making... He is playing an old fucking NHL sport game for, like, the N64 or something to compete, to competitively, like, I, I don't know, compete his fucking fake harem of scam GFs against each other. I've never seen something like this. This is so unfucking believably absurd. This is surreal in the extreme. Cynthia, Cynthia. She better be in this too. She better step around now. Yeah. Nice. Who thought that would happen? Okay, so she's coming from the right, left side, cutting right, like, like you see, watch the opposite post shot. That's the trick. But here's the thing. From that side, you can't tell it, right? That's how it works, right? Same thing as Kaylin's going the other way, right? If you're coming... Okay.
that's quite enough of this video. Uh, um, what do you want from me? I don't fucking know what any of this shit's talking about. Hey, come on. Um, yeah, this is no one run, and he's fucking insane. I don't know what's going on here. There was a specific video that someone wanted me to look at. I wish I knew which one it was. Maybe I can find it here. Give me a sec. I might have had it opened in the thing. Um, scroll past the Coolio videos. Uh, no, yeah, no, I don't have it. I don't have it here. Um, so I'm not sure which video I was requested to look at. There was one in particular that somebody wanted me to see, and uh, I'm not sure which one it was. Um, let me see here. Therians, um, big ups to the gifters. I'm going back to the last stream to see. No, can't find where which video it was supposed to be. Um, but we've got more here, and I do want to look at a bit more here. So we have a song, I guess, from this band Wildfire, which I guess is also one of the people that were trolling him or something. Uh, uh, let's listen. This is uh. Wildfire, in brackets, country, been there, dumped that, reverse yellow light karaoke, David Vega's method. So this is, is this a real song? I mean, is this just like a real song that he he's just into this band, maybe? Not my music. It's from Wildfire. Are you a real band? Well, kind of. Uh, they're very small time, I guess. But I, 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 I have to assume these people are not, like, trolling this guy. They, they seem to be like a real musical outfit. But not maybe a very big one. Oh, poor them. They don't know that they're involved in this, probably. Uh, more, more... Like, what I like about this is that you get these videos that look like they're basically unrelated to anything. It, like, you'll get, you know, this talking about Edmonton, NHL 99, blah, blah, blah. And then you... Is this him going to jail? Was that is that him in 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 a like prison jumpsuit? It was just discovered accidentally, as always, moments ago. What day the project titled, blah blah blah, was released on Facebook without the TNT by ACDC copyright issue that YouTube has, and unfortunately, it's too late to incorporate the record of original releases into the project itself, like I would have done if I had discovered it earlier. This is from three months ago. If you think this is clickbait, you're going to be upset. It's not. Well, I don't think it is because I have no idea. I mean, I clicked on it because it's insane. I think I'm not going to be upset about that. I think I'm not going to feel baited on that. I'm going to... Yeah. Um, well, okay, I see this whole thing here. So long story short, that day was today. Uh, Nibbler's birthday. Seven years from today... Let's all have some cake. And you smell like one too. Huh. And we are going to use both the record that we now have, as well as pertinent things I saw on Facebook and applied to myself in a certain way, that I think will put this into a brand new, and if you don't mind me saying, a personally disturbing context that's worth a re-release as a non-CR safe version. Well, I don't know what CR is. So I, I still don't, I, maybe this is clickbait to him if he understands what these words all mean when they're together. Uh, E-Kit's fire starter intro. Oh, the fucking person that says that he, you saved him. Oh my god, okay, get to it, get, holy shit, how can it be this long? Watch the whole project, can we get to the project? David, like, whoa, Vega is redeemed. So FS1, 2, and 3 are over here. And this is one of the FSs. This is one of the fake sexies. 
This is fake sexy one, two, and three, and these two might be fake sexy four. Temp FS3N production. FS3. Is he also an FS3? What's the FS mean? mean? I just want to know. I just need to know what that means. Your 2007 Mickey Mouse ca capade review saved my life, and now I have built a religion around you, sir. Worse than that, it's not even that someone it's not even that someone saw some guy's Mickey Mouse campaign review and went insane. It's that someone saw this guy's review, told him that it was helpful for them, and found they found it at a dark place in their life or whatever. And then this guy who made the Mickey Mouse campaign review w then went insane there thereafter. That's what happened. Life begins with a goddess and ends with a goddess. This is the truth. This is my belief, at least for now. The mystery of life, according to Vega. I like the I like the the uncertainty here. Like it goes from this quote, this statement, as if like this is telling you this is the this is the this is what it is. This is the meaning of life. But then it's like this is the truth. Well, it's my belief at least. Uh, for now, I mean, they could change. I might believe something different soon, but at the moment, this is what I'm- I'm pretty sad on this. Mystery of life should have a question mark at the end of it. Someone asks, what in the Mama Max bullshit is this? I don't- I don't know. That's- that's a good question. But I feel like the Leviathans are inching their way- their way closer. As we speak. So, Bimmy Lee here, uh, today was the day. Too late to add the description of the video or something. This whole thing has been Firestarter re only minus the ACDC. Is this just him? Uh, I'm pretty sure this is just him on Facebook. Okay. All gamers and speedrunners. This is why we do stunts. Ever have that day when the computer seems to know exactly what you're doing with the game? They do the exact worst things to make your run a living nightmare. It seems like they have... ESP, N, and they're like supercomputer mutant characters throwing you, throwing at you the worst RNG imaginable. And yet somehow you dig down really deep and still pull off the run somehow? That is what happened here. Oh, did you finally get laid? Great, great video. A lot of, lot of, lot of cool video moments here where I have to skip through a minute of songs. Um, you have to turn way up the volume. It's not quite as bad as an NES game, but it took down everything this time around. Secondly, this wasn't supposed to be e -Kit's game. It was, but he was going out there expecting to be the sacrificial lamb in a game where we were expecting to let loose with our firepower using tricks or not, given how last game went, and all out goal the other team. You just get that way with these triangle teams like Edmonton that confuse the game's switching controls for us and our defense. But things changed because we learned pretty early on that they were going to stick and interfere with us all game long, both on the play and behind the play. And, uh, okay. Okay, so... I understand now that what's happening is this is supposed to be a game of his... This is the only video game this man has ever played, apparently. NHL 99. Not 98, not 2000, not NHL 07, not NHL 17, not NHL X, not ho Super Fighting Hockey 2000, but NHL 99 specifically. Probably a specific version on one specific console, too. Uh... And that's the only game he's ever played, because this is apparently from, like, 2016 he made this post, and so fucking seven years later or something, he's still making shit like this, and he's still obsessed with this game. What's this here? Oh, 
Oh, okay. This is yeah, Robert Downey Jr. Uh and and this is his comeback tour, everybody. Our boy No One Run is on his comeback tour. And you can see that based on uh This video is dedicated to former YouTube user ekit357. So what we have here is yet another case of one of these people from like 2007 YouTube uh, making videos in the style of the nerd uh, who's completely lost his fucking marbles. Uh, we just have another person like Game Dude, uh, like, you know, a lot of these people from, from this era uh, who, who just seem to have some kind of fucking problem. Well, I mentioned before Birdman, Stan Birdman was another guy from that era who I remember hearing a couple of years ago. I forget even what video it was. It was like an unrelated side thing in a video about other shit. Somebody was talking about how this guy they used to watch on YouTube called Stan Birdman went completely insane and had like a drama meltdown with him and his friends and his like girlfriend and stuff. Um, and so that was another guy from this era. And it seems like people... From this era, a lot of the nostalgia critic people, Spoonie, Linkara, a lot of the people that tried to be like them, fucking Big Jack Films, you better be watching. You escaped this. Uh, they all just kind of go crazy sometimes. Also a speedrunner. A lot of speedrunners also go insane. You wind up with fucking, you know, Narcissa Cosmo Wright and... You know, you, you, you get, uh, you get, uh, you get chibi necodemics and all of these people. Uh, this is just more of this, I guess. But this is a guy who was, you know, one of these angry reviewers. Um, and his entire life seemingly has been altered because one guy told him that your videos were really cool and helped me out, you know, and I feel better now. And... And so now he has gotten the biggest possible ego because he had one specific nice comment. And for the rest of his days, he has now dedicated his entire existence to helping out ekit357. Who I'm just going to say this, if your video, if your life was like saved by a Mickey Mouse Capade review, I don't know, man. M Maybe your life still has a ways to go. I just don't be so sure your life has been saved yet. That's all I'm saying. Um, extremely important member of my team. Right. So we're going through all of this again and how important. Yeah, how important this guy's fucking video was to, to him. His Mickey Mouse video. And with that info finally disclosed, we've already seen it. Please enjoy my most difficult and exciting game yet from one of these... Yeah, right. Uh, NHL 99. E. A. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's the N64 version. Hell yeah. And it's just uncut footage of the game, I guess? Does he add anything to it? Uh... I have to assume there's crazy people blurbs mixed in somewhere throughout this. No, I'm not seeing anything. No, okay, but then we get this. Sometimes people with the worst past end up creating the best futures. First day with his freedom back after just a smidge over a year of not having it. Uh-oh, why'd you go to jail, buddy? Polygamous since 2021? What's going on? Oh yeah, no, the Vega girls, I forgot. That's the polygamy. Right. But why did you not have your freedom, pal? What happened to you? Uh... Watching the Mexican runner on Twitch with Taco Bell and Dos Equis after getting your freedom back. So he went to prison for some mysterious reason. Way to recover from this scourge of a charity dream.
Maybe the charity is the scam. Maybe he's getting, like, the, some people have convinced him to give money to charity, quote-unquote, and it's just a scam. That could be it. Yo, it's, did I see Alien Ant Farm? Yo! My predictive powers of knowing about Alien Ant Farm. Let's go. Where did they go? Okay, cool music, cool music. Um, there's Cynthia Vega, everyone. This lady definitely wants to fuck him. Uh, and really cares about his... There you go, Alien Ant Farm Smooth Criminal. This is what um, this is what we used to have in the West, but now the West has fallen and we don't get an Alien Ant Farm Smooth Criminal anymore. That's what Sargon has informed me of, so... That's a, it's a shame. I thought we I thought the West was doing a little bit better, but we don't have Alien Ant Farm Smooth Criminal in 2024. So, yeah, it's unfortunate. Just like how Grok is woke, unfortunately. So this is a, a one of the women that's scamming him. Okay, good morning, sweetheart. Uh, what the fuck? Don't ever talk to me like I'm a Vega girl, okay? I don't any relationship with you. I'm a Vega lady, okay? I have to worship my man and swallowed his cum. I'm now a Vega lady. Oh no, did he like FedEx his fucking his fucking Fanta to some woman? Like I assume none of these are real life relationships or else it would be pretty difficult to scam. How does he have money to be scammed out of though? I mean, I'm con very confused about what this guy does. Uh Cynthia here. Uh okay, well we've got blurred porn. We've got tastefully artfully blocked out porn here. You're going to be assisting Kaylin a lot and both of you said very similar sexual things about how you feel about me, which I get to throw in the face of my doctor when I see him who thinks I would get in illegal trouble or am obsessive uh just because he doesn't believe you two actually feel that way about me. Oh, doesn't he? That is big. That is why you both will remain on the team as long as I can keep you on. And she just says, okay. And then she she posts like, yeah, Cynthia Vega with the America uh, shit here. So I thought this was honoring E-Kit. Also, why is this so disturbing? Is it disturbing because we've gone down the, in this trip down crazy town? There's Cynthia. Uh, don't give up on me no matter how much time it takes. Girls like you are not just girls. They are weapons! I understand, and I promise I won't give up on you. No, you seem to be a pretty good cash cow, I guess. Or at least a meme cow. Legal system, FedEx systems. You profited, profiled this man. He was supposed to be monogamous. This, this is God. Um. It's cooking. Okay, we still have music happening. Te blue line. Mm hmm. Make no mistake, this is a fun, cool AMV right now. This is like a a crazy people AMV is what we're watching. Hey. 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 Um. Uh, there's another guy he knows. Sure, sure. Um, back to life, back to reality. I'm sure glad that you didn't suffer any injuries from that serious leap of faith, man. That was absolutely crazy, haha. -ha. The fact that you escaped unscathed is nothing short of miraculous. It's also crazy that how things bring people together. I mean, who would have thought that some random Jason glitch from an NES game would finally make us cross paths? It's a small world after all, hehe. <laughs> and we just have, like, footage of a baseball game happening, I guess. And more of this make me try my luck with Leah again. Uh-huh. First name Monica. Oh my god. Oh my god, you're so fucking insane! Having first discovered YouTube, David's YouTube channel in 2011. Blah blah blah. Freedom of expression is a beautiful thing. 
David Vega, your honor. So this guy was in jail for something. This David guy was in jail for fucking some reason. And looking at this video, you can kind of only fucking guess why. You can look at all of this in this this behavior and wonder what cool thing landed him in prison. Mexican runner is one of them. Mm-hmm. Okay. So he's got some... F okay. So this is like some fucking speedrunner, I guess. This is seriously the greatest thing in sports entertainment that needs to sweep the nation. This is the triple Mexican connection, where the following three individuals are involved in a scoring play. We got Incador Fuego, we got the Mexican runner, and we've got FS2 and 3 or 4 or 5 or whatever. Runner and Cruz. Fuego, Runner, and Cruz are all together. The triple Mexican. Get hit me up with another triple Mexican with extra cheese. Oh, yeah, probably stalking. Yeah, I would assume. Okay, Big Al in chat. Are you Big Al 2K6 who apparently fucking got this guy? Are you the one, are you the Big Al that's rec that's related to this whole insane shit? Because apparently there's Big Al 2K6 who said something about fucking this guy's Mickey Mousecapade review being really good. And... And it got this this dude to see it and and then later send a message to this guy telling him that his Mickey Mouse Capade review saved his life. And now all of this is happening. Are you that Big Al or are you a different Big Al? I don't know. But lots of Mexicans and wildfires. I'm not that Big Al. Okay, there's a different Big Al. Okay, you're just a different... That's That's fine then. You're not responsible. You bear none of the shame. All right, well, um, shit. I mean, that's probably it for the stream. There's definitely going to be more. Okay, wait, no, before the stream's over, before it's over, I do need to click on this one. We need to get some kind of fucking maybe closure. PSA romance scams and why the emotional toll, blah, blah, blah. So I think he was getting scammed then. I do not want to make this at all. Outtake number five of the Vivian cast. Okay, a bunch of gibberish. Uh, scams of all types, including real-life verifiable people. Uh, huh? Okay, so are you going to be on camera on this one? First thing we're going to do is cut part of the one live cam, blah, 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 reboot of my 2003 backyard wrestling video. How old were you? Like 12? 2003? When you watch and listen to this, play, pay really close attention and absorb everything right. Okay, he is on camera. But I stocked up on film, not just for uh, Still Never Forfeiting, right? That's that's a music video that's that can still be finished. And unlike in the past, I don't know if you noticed where I put padding on myself when I went down to the weight room, right? When I was yeah, running, I'm definitely not going to get any closure on this one. At the park, that was real me. When when I had to take off the shirt, that was real me. But when I every other time, I, I tried to get away with wearing padding. I'm naturally bigger than I was there. I, I'm bigger than I was in the, 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 the how to blow 400 feet of film. I'm the biggest I've ever been because I've been doing all these video projects, throwing my body away because I have new inspiration that tops dudes any day. The, the, they have XX, double X chromosomes, right? Wait, I better not have gotten that wrong. Yeah. Uh, you got some extra chromosomes. Probably. So again, David. <laughs> Even though that's very basic to a person who did 49 uni units of lower division, division UCD science courses. If you're doing a video and you ha you get that wrong in the heat of the moment, unlike almost typing a D instead of a T on heat, you know, you could just go back and you just go back at, and change that nobody would have known if you didn't okay um he drew so much attention to that that's so strange you have to correct it 
here later or you will look like an idiot as commenters correct you forever till your dying day. Well, you could have just not pointed out that you almost had a... a very, okay, very strange. You wonder what... Maybe at some other point he said head of the moment and people pointed it out and... I mean, do people really do that that much? There's always going to be, like, one guy. You're going to get that upset about getting one guy? David throws his body and health away for... It's the real deal inspiration. <laughs> it's not... <laughs> he would never do this for Franco and Carlo. Or anybody. <laughs> so, so. Okay, I really hoped we would get some actual info about the scammers. No, ma'am, he is a scammer. Some some scammer info. Come on. Just wrestle. No dudes at all. It's girls. Sorry, David. Oh, here we go. I think this is the scam portion of the video. I can come be with you and make you happy and always make you feel comfortable, says Nicole. Oh my god. Uh-huh. Wait, wait, wait. I will accept you. I can be like Chloe and even have a loving heart that get... I can come be with you. You can always... Tr you can easy trust me without any condition and I know you've been hurt in your past. You just have to forgive... Uh... Come on now, we're gonna go super speed here through this. For, forget your... I'm real, David! You can just take a deep breath and out and then trust me with my words. But I believe you can't trust me without any condition. Baby, you can trust me, I understand you, and I know... Yeah, so... Getting getting scammed pretty hard here. Lot of, lot of people jumping on board this one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, I can trust her. I think I can trust her, guys. I don't know. It looks like I can trust her. She's a woman of her words. I know and I understand you, but at least I just sent- I just snap pick and prove you wrong. You supposed to trust me more than anything in word. Uh-huh. More than anything in word. Oh dear. Isn't there somebody I recently cut out of my life because they insisted that my past doesn't matter even when I was working on a four hour video project to explain how my YouTube passed with dudes to explain how I'm so good with females including her. Now I'm making myself understandable finally to the world so I can use my true talents at long last? Yeah. In fact, I think their final words to me that I let them say before blocking them everywhere were right after the Vegas Golden Knights won the cup and I was gathering footage for the end of the video. What's amazing to me is how little sense, again, it, it makes no sense what's going on here. I mean, yeah, yada yada, he's crazy. Yeah, I mean, like, at, at the end of the day, it's as simple as he's crazy. But... I mean, like, he talks in a very coherent manner. Like, the words that he says, the way he talks, he doesn't sound... He doesn't speak like a crazy person. But then you read this shit, and this is just not making any fucking sense. And here's some hockey stuff. Uh... Somebody, like, buttering him up here, I guess. Kaylin Vega, I guess that's who this is. Uh, look how hard I'm working while not at paid work. No one cares about 2006 film school. That's Jennifer here. You think I have control over the best part of my life being recognized? Yeah, that's the problem. Bro, we all have a past. I think this woman might not be scamming him. This seems like a person who's appropriately not willing to deal with this bullshit. You could pack your bags and start a new life. You're in charge of your future. If you want to work in television or movies and blah, 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 no one gives a fuck about the past. Yeah. Oh, I guess never mind. I guess we all do. It doesn't get any worse with girls than calling absolutely every other girl in the universe fake when first hearing about them. Merely asking the question if they're real girls or not when I first mentioned them, which also happened when she heard about Kinky and Pink from 2006 YouTube. 
Oh no, he was getting scammed in 2006 too? And then sharing in common something serious with the scammer, like wanting me to forget and totally disregard and make no use of my past just to live a completely disposable life with her the same way a scammer wants me forget all about those past online women who literally said a lot of the same things, were paid to get here to testify I'm lovable and to, to systems that treated me like human garbage and just have to do the exact same thing, paying her hoping in vain she would... Yeah, okay, so it's, pre it's pretty much confirmed he's being scammed by, like, a number of people here. Uh, quite a few people. Who's this woman? She's got her tits out. We got some titty. We got some titty. And, 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 and this OnlyFans woman was scamming him, or somebody was... Oh, this is Nicole Calder, I guess. That's who this is. Good men. Okay, he's gonna tell... Guys, la ladies in chat, he's telling the ladies about how good men work. Hang on. Okay, lots of good music in this video. Ladies, let me tell you something about how good men work. And no, I'm not talking about common men or all men or even any men that you may know. I'm talking about men that represent the gold standard of men. I'm talking about the type of man who will see a woman do this and it don't matter if it's the real her or if she's just portraying herself that way or just talking to that that way to him or even doing it in front of him in person. I'm talking about the type of man who sees any representation of a woman do this for him, and his first instinct of his gut is to look up at her, not down, even though she's physically below him. What? Wait, what? Though? I, I don't... Is this woman like a midget? Is that what you're getting at? Come on now. This is the kind of man who it means so much to him as a person on the inside that you can make him feel lovable by doing this that he thinks, how can I make her happy as a person on the inside and bring the most honor to her in all aspects? So what does that have to do with you being fucking scammed? That's the gold standard to me and I'm not concerned with anything else for reasons I do not care to get into right now. Ladies, when you kneel to a man like this, and especially the way she's doing as requested and agreed to, here is what you are saying to that gold standard of a good man, L like David. You are saying that you honestly believe in your man. You care about him for who he is on the inside. You believe in his goals, his dreams, his ambitions, and his talents and efforts and plans to theorize, then achieve them, no matter how lacking he may be in current competency. Uh, and as such, when you kneel to him like this, you will tell him that you put full trust in him to submit to him with no reservations, no ulterior motives, no desire to change nor control him, nothing help- Okay, but you're just being scammed, though. I don't think this is really relevant to- I mean, yeah, I'm sure you'd be a great boyfriend. Oh, it's abuse of a good man down here, alright. Um, she came in- oh, wait, wait, wait. Think about the way this person's Col Nicole Calder's words eventually culminating in this photo claiming to be her doing this specifically for me affected me uniquely. She came right into the conversation wanting to be one of the Vega girls who would join my N NHL 99 for Twitch All Awards Max Difficulty Full Season stunt team and change her last name for me. Ah, oh, as many would. This st this stunt represents the adult version of what uh, my idea of heaven is to be like, the same way my sixth birthday in 1988 gave me my very earliest glimpse of what I picture heaven to be like. If you are on this team, then when I get to the real heaven, I will expect you to actually be there with me celebrating in whatever they do in heaven that is like the excitement of scoring goals in an NHL hockey game and hearing your own individual goal celebration music tribute who you are and give God glory in that manner for all of eternity. Uh, obviously. As, as you do. And even the girls met online whose identities are still questionable. Kaylin, Laurel, Cynthia, Brittany, and probably the absolute least questionable of them all and my current choice to marry. Chloe. If any of them are not real, I will order God to invent them because they represent something uniquely special to who I am as a person that God made me in, made in me to connect with. I will order God. He's go he's going to force God to make the the catfish bitches. Mhm. Mm 
Oh, I, I said I would order God to make them for me if any of those five are not real. If that bothers some of you, that's what the A-Rod hand is for. Oh, you're gonna, like, slap me? Oh, oh no, you're gonna do that. The, the canned Yakuza animation. You're gonna do that one. Right. So being on this team is not... Uh-huh. Uh, the public figures are involved. As a scammer in the NFG Wrestling 2023 reboot. Oh. Uh-huh, and you got scammed for that, too? Wow. Lots of scams. So much scams. All right. Yeah, that'll be the stream. Uh, interesting new fellow there. We're definitely going to look more of uh, David. More more of David like Woe Vega. Uh, quite some kind of person. Um, oh, okay. Five bucks from Calm BS uh, from 36 minutes ago. Dug around and apparently the dude went nuts in 2012 and started stalking a sportscaster. Apparently, he used to wear a paper bag in his reviews. Ah. Stalking a sportscaster, huh? Well, I'm sure we'll find out more at some point, but thank you for doing a little bit of research there. Uh, we're going to do a, a few super chats here. We're definitely going to look at more of this guy next time. Well, maybe not next time, but sometime soon. I got more new users to get to as well, so we want to try to we want to try to do that at some point. Um, let me set up some uh some some tunes uh you know uh sure sure i like zero seven that's good um two bucks from autistic wolf i am not a com i am not a computer i do not do math in my brain I like that guy. I wonder what he's up to. Two bucks from Kate. Can't stay, but here's some coin. Oh, if you have coin, I have stream, Traveler. Thank you. Five bucks from Folger Kelly. Thanks for the streams. They've been helping make my job tolerable. Been working on overtime unpaid while my supervisor tells the CRO not to promote me. Ah. Well, I hope you're giving him sneeze muffins every morning. Or like, I don't know, shitting in his briefcase or something. I, I don't know. Um, well, ha happy to help. Lil Grim Grimalkin has become a member. Thank you. And welcome. Five bucks from Catcubus. Can you do some angry reading of DDLG ASMRs? Well, not today, but maybe another time. Remember, Valentine's Day is coming up close. So we, we have every opportunity to, uh, to, to, to do some boyfriend ASMRs and stuff then. 5 CHF from Super Mario Hack. God damn it, Claw, it's 1 a.m. Why do you have to start streaming right when I wanted to go to sleep? Now I have to totally watch this entire thing. Well, sucks to suck. Why don't you go fuck yourself? Two bucks from... <laughs> well, I mean, I, uh, you know, you can save it for next time. You know what you do, you say, you watch, you watch it a little bit when you're going to bed, you fall asleep, you wake up in the morning, you, you figure out roughly where you were and you watch the rest of it, you know? So that's that's the, that's the solution. Two bucks from GZ Fireplace. I know, I know, I know now. Five bucks from Elk Landry. Is Big Jack Films a relative of Animat? I mean, I don't know. I guess he would have to. He would have to be the one to tell you if he knows about Animat or has watched Animat before. I I've been told Animat is too boring to look at on a stream. I would assume that he's kind of like if Big Jack Films didn't do the fun skits. I, I That's my assumption. I don't know. Um, let me see here. Um, two bucks from Luis Andrade. Remember, Game Dude is bottling Satan. Is ga ga What's funny is there was a video I saw recently about Game Dude. And then I think June the King or somebody made like a, that, that long two-hour, three-hour Game Dude video. And, uh, very comprehensive. I considered watching that on stream, but I'll probably not do that. Uh, but I was just considering that specifically because there was stuff I'd never seen before, like... Him having that second theme song. Namely, I liked all of the fucking moments of him, tr like, being trolled on that forum. The game reviewer forum, or whatever it was. Uh, where he kept trying to, like, make new threads for his Game Dude show, and people were like, no, shut, fuck off. 
Close this thread. You already have a thread, game dude. Fuck off. And he would just keep making them and, like, being weird and annoying. Game dude's fascinating. Game dude's a fascinating person. Um, it's amazing that game dude... I mean, he's on the run. Like, nobody... He, it's like nobody ever found him dead or anything, you know? So it's not like we can even just be like, Ah, oh, game dude, he's probably dead somewhere. No! He's... Probably, like, homeless, living under a bridge, fucking screaming can't stand you at the people that go by. I don't know. But Game Dude's interesting, because he had such weird, like, confidence. He had such misplaced confidence. I don't know where he got it from. Like, it, it, it was like he didn't have confidence with, like, women or anything, but then he'd be out there with, like, screaming at police and just like, Wow, okay, little man. Shit. You can't, like, look a person in the eyes, but you're gonna yell pigs at, at the police as they drive by. And, like, oh, alright. Alright, you're gonna break bad, but you can't break a hymen. Oh, okay. Um, Sads, uh, two, two, uh, two hours ago, became a member. Welcome. Two bucks from Lined Gear Productions. Sniper's still mad that her answer wasn't on Yai. <laughs> well, I mean... And maybe it was, maybe she just, maybe, maybe she put in a thing and it was just her stealing from someone else and they got the recognition and not her. That's the real shame of it. Um, you yeah, know, she still, she still does Sniper Wolf videos. She has not, nothing has, that's not affected her at all. That's the real black pill of the thing. She's, she's still fine. YouTube still loves her. Fully monetized. Great channel. Go watch, super cool, getting tons of money, you know, I'm sure. Real, real shame, real shameful stuff. Uh, Ten bucks from Cordelia specifically. Not long ago you played Just One Dance uh, uh, by Caro Emerald. I liked it and added it to my playlist. At the time you had a giggle with a chat member about it being a good song. Is there some silliness? Oh yeah, no, that was a song from an old Bioshock Infinite like, I think it was like a zone flash or something. It was a sexy, sexy porn game, like a, like a flash thing, uh, from when Bioshock, I think before Bioshock Infinite came out, people were really, really into Elizabeth. And I remember that was a meme on V for like a day or two. And I just remember watching it and being like, wow, that song is really good. Uh, you know, there was other elements to it that were also happening, but the main th takeaway was that that song was really good. But it became, it became like a thing where if you ever mentioned that song, people would be like, Oh, hey there. Hey there, Anon. I, I know where you've, I know where you heard that song from. Yeah, yeah. Uh, five bucks from Safia. Get this man a seat in Congress! Uh, Italian Congress, maybe. Two months ago, membership from Mikey Jesus. Two month member. I know I'm going out on a limb here, but I think this user may be a little off their rocker. I don't know. He clearly had that rocking chair. That was a that was a that was a good lounge chair. He could rock in it, I'm sure. He looks like he could be a rocker, not as much as Big Jack Films, but he looks like a, a potential rocker. Um, 862 from Exiled Postman. This must be what it lo it sounds like to non English speakers when they hear us talk. Well, I remember there was a video or two that were that were made. I think it was multiple, but there was at least, there was one really famous one that was made with the premise of that. It was like this couple on a plane, and it was supposed to be sort of like how we hear Italian or something, but like how they, how people would hear English. And a lot of it was just words, I remember. It was just people saying actual words, but like not really making a lot of sense. So yeah, kind of, kind of, uh, that, that I would assume so. Two bucks from Reverend Cudgel. This looks like an RLM set. So many real life pl plankets tend to, you know? Two bucks from uh, Reverend Cudgel. What's the single Sean situation? Sean White, you mean? Sh famous not not the snowboarder Sean White? I mean, I with the teeth like that, I mean, I'm sure he has no trouble pulling. You know, Sean, Sean's doing all right. Five bucks from CombS dug around and yes yeah, stalking a sports caster two bucks again search david vega stalking court docs show up 
Well, I'll try to keep that in mind for next time uh, when we do look at this guy again. I'm sure we will. Uh, two bucks from Big Jack Films. Hey, it's your boy. Thanks for the roast. Can't wait for part two. Well, this was kind of part one and a half. So yeah, part two of the Ready Player One thing that'll happen. I was mainly just impressed that you got you got Doug involved. I'm sure it was just a cameo or whatever, but you know, there's so many people that I've seen who have been aping the the, the nostalgia critic style for fucking like 15 years now, and and yet you you were the first. You're one of the first ones I've seen to look like your thing is actually endorsed by by the critic to some extent, which. Uh, you know, in my opinion, that's not necessarily worth a whole lot if you've ever watched his wall review. But, you know, that being said, you know, it's still impressive. It's still impressive. Uh, <laughs> it was it was much more impressive than somebody like... That was like the... The second guy we looked at was like the Dark Universe version of Big Jack Films. Where Big Jack Films is like a modern day take on the old style of reviewer. Uh, and, you know, it's like a guy having fun with his friends, and everybody's in costumes, and everybody's just having a good time there, and he's got women involved, and DeLoreans, and, and th this guy, meanwhile, has women scamming him, and he used to make cool videos in the reviewer style, but he doesn't anymore, and, you know, it was just like the horror story dark side of the coin uh the 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 horrible side of the coin that landed on all of the poo uh that was that was that was uh david vega there well thank you everybody for stopping by that'll be the stream uh penis uh holy hot decks from hell uh go play go play video games i i got yakuza 8 yakuza i picked users over yakuza's this evening you better be thankful um I got Yakuza 8, and uh, I have to play it on Japanese because I can't stand to deal with Yong Ye as Kiryu. It's just not happening. Like, it would be funny, but I don't think the amount that it would piss me off would outweigh how funny it would be. So, no, wait, rather, the other way around. How funny it is will not be more than how much it pisses me off. But, anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, live tomorrow, maybe. Penis. Oh, live tomorrow, definitely. Halo and stuff. And other stuff, too. But anyways, uh, penis.